All right, folks, time to party. Let's play some Age of Empires, and uh, we're going to be opening up with some FFA today, so let's go ahead and get the lobby started. I'll probably do some 1v1s towards the end of the stream. I'm very rusty. I've been playing a ton of Company of Heroes, so I've kind of slipped up a little bit here on this old game, but uh, we'll get it back. No worries. So let's go ahead and do a standard, and for the map, we can do Mega Random's Fun. Is there any other maps we want to try? I think we're okay here with the mega random map. All right, so gonna open up the lobby, gonna make it maximum players uh, eight. And it looks like we're all set. <laughs> Folks are joining already. Oh man, look at that. The party starts early. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. So that looks like it's all good. And we're gonna do mega random and also random sieves. So if anybody is joining and you only know how to play one sieve, hopefully you're ready to try and figure it out with some other ones. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? Been a while since I managed to play an FFA. Well, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. Um, this one is going to, God, why do I have to like like narrate it as I'm typing it? Going to be all random sieves. Yeah, so everybody random. Everybody random sieve. It's more fun when people get thrown off their sieve, I think. It makes for a wild, wild experience. Yeah. <laughs> I only know how to play zero. Yeah, I, I kind of feel that way as well. The thumbnail got a chuckle out of me. Yeah, it's a good one. It, it's I did do it before. It's it's not the first time we've used that thumbnail or a similar one. We used it before, but it was a different angle from the movie. So um, you narrate while you type messages. I didn't used to, though. I didn't used to do that in any way. I remember in my 20s when I was... Yeah, no, I, I never did that with like emails at, at work or things like that. It's just, uh, it's just weird. It's just weird. All right, guys. No more games. Let's quit messing around and uh, let's fire this one up. We got the dreaded Rico swapping down here. I like it. Omaso, Naniori, Siberia, Stahai, Man and Patty. All right. The crew is together. Eight person map. It is going to be mega random. Everyone's on a random sieve. Let us see what the gods have given us. I don't want anything OP. Oh, we always get the roost. Every single game I get roost these days. All right. So we got triple English. Uh, that's not going to be fun late game. And then we have Ottomans, HRE, Mongols, and French. All right. Triple English, though. Ooh, that's tough. That's going to be very, very tough to beat. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is the best universe. There's no there's no, uh, there's no, no discussion there. It's so good. It's just so good. And the movies are just amazing, too. Give me China. China would have been strong. Roos are definitely on the weaker end. But if I, if I get to spawn near some wood or something, like a, a big patch of wood, I'll be feeling pretty good. We shall storm with our hunting cabins. Yeah, you can kind of keep up with English in terms of gold with Roos if you have really good hunting cabins with like really dense wooded areas. But um, the way England will usually outfood you, that's more of the problem. So they're just going to kind of keep pouring chaff into you and you're going to run out of food. Yeah, definitely trading with Roos is, they don't have anything special for it. But, you know, you can set up a, the decent little cheap palisades to kind of protect your trade routes and all that. So it's not like useless by any stretch. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Invite three DB someday. He is so entertaining. Yeah, he's uh, he's like a pro player, isn't he? Yeah, I, I think I I think I casted one of his games before when I was doing like the uh, EDC TV when the game first came out. Yeah, those those guys do a great job. They do a great job for sure. Some of the horse archers. Yeah, you know horse archers. I don't know. I do wish horse archers were better. They kind of they have like a really short window of being good compared to like regular archers and whatnot. But I mean, yeah, with a little bit of micro, they can certainly crush, uh, you know, crush some units. Rings of Power, get oh God, not the Rings of Power. The Rings of Power is the worst. I tried to give it a chance. I went into the Rings of Power super op open-minded. Like I was like, you know, I was overlooking things I like, I didn't quite like in the beginning and trying to like look at the fun elements of it. Um, but man, I just couldn't. After I finished it, it just, uh, it didn't feel right. Yeah, I didn't like it. I don't know, didn't like it. It's hard to, you know, compare, like, to the Peter Jackson's trilogy, right? Like, it's it's very tough. All right. So let's see what we look like here. All right. So let's go here and here. A little bit of this. Set that up like so. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be a bit of a janky cabin here, but it's all good. Let's go see if we can find some bounty. That's the one cool thing about playing Roos and uh, these games is, you know, folks don't usually actually, like, actively deny your um your bounties so you can usually have a pretty good run of uh getting your bounty up right away yeah you know i tried to be open-minded there's a lot of cynicism when it comes to like you know modern cinema and shows and adaptions and things like that so i was like okay i don't want to be like this crusty old boomer who's just going to write it off without giving it a chance that was kind of my my mindset um 
but yeah, I just I just couldn't I couldn't get into it. It's just it didn't tickle my pickle. The one the the one sequence like I remember when I first started the first episode of the Rings of Power like they have like a they basically used the same structure that the uh, the the Fellowship of the Rings did where they have like a narrated battle in the beginning like explaining the history to an extent. And that battle scene was actually kind of cool when you saw the great eagles like battling the uh, the fell beasts and all that. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Like, I, I was hopeful for that like first couple minutes, and then as soon as it really got going, I was like, oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> it was it was a short lived celebration. Yeah, it definitely was. Yeah, no, you got to come join us for some of these. I'm like using the company of heroes hockey's like the uh, the ones where you uh, hit Q to attack move. Like I, I can like I can still watch Lord of the Rings trilogy and, and get like like during some of the scenes and still get the the goosebumps as if like it was my first time seeing it you know it, it's pretty magical it's pretty magical for sure all right so uh, maybe there might be a deer camp in the corner there gonna have to go scout that but the sheep let's get you guys here you go to the corner as we uh, keep warming up the old hands you can always move it <laughs> what's happening over here. There's so much stone in this map. I know it's 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 not it's not necessarily a good thing. You guys seeing how many stone nodes there are? It's insane. Not it's not going to be just the French players this day. All right, so we got a wolf here, but honestly, I'm not having a great run of bounty here. So we definitely got to get the golden gate. The golden gate is is the way. I I literally was in an FFA last time that I think I could have won if I didn't get the stupid Kremlin. The Kremlin's just so janky. Okay, let's keep looking. What do we got here? Let's go here, 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 here. Oh my god, there is a lot of stone in this map. Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> the Mongols trading. Yeah, Mongols do trade. Yeah, Silver Tree, all that sort of good stuff. We're uh, not the quickest to age up here, but... Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about the lack of, um, of bounty on this map. We're really not finding much. Okay. Can we get some bounty, please? Let's keep exploring. Mm. You, you know what show is really good though? That's really good. I, I honestly think I would put it among some of my new favorite shows is The Last of Us. Oh my god, Pedro Pascal is amazing in that show. It's oh my god, there's water on this map. Yeah, he's he's so good. We've been Anna and I've been watching it at night. It's uh it's amazing. Okay, so we're about to age up here. Um definitely we'll get some sort of a landmark in the corner. Probably the Abbey of the Trinity would be what we go for here. Okay, let's grab you guys, do this, do that, and get the golden gate. Did we find deer? No, we found pigs. So it looks like we found the pigs, but we still haven't... Okay, there's another boar. So we, we gotta, like, take note of where these boar are. So we can, um... Yeah, and obviously I'm gonna go with, uh... Multiple TC. You gotta be greedy. I mean, you can go fast castle. I, I don't even see that many relics near me. I, I think I only see a couple. Um, how are we doing on food? My spot sucks? Yeah, there's some bad spots. Let's uh, bring these sheep back just so we don't run out of food in the base. There's water bottom left. So there is um, water. Yeah, so we're going to go down here with the villager. That would be It would be silly for us not to take advantage of that. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting a phone call here. Let's see who that would be. Oh, just spam, of course. Classic. Okay, so cruising back here. We're going to be aging up. <laughs> Somebody's like, there's water. It's like, yes. Okay, we found a wolf right there. Okay, let's keep cruising across. We got the wolf. Yeah, we haven't finished The Last of Us yet. We're on the, um, we're on like episode five or six. So no spoilers, please. Seven. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Looking good. Five and ten. So we're getting a big surplus of wood. And, uh, we should probably pull a couple of these guys now. Do this. So turn in. Get you and that. I always forget with Roost to build the, um... Can we go find some deer for the love of the dark gods? Jeez. And uh, set that up so we can get the extra wood. Yeah, we're going to need that extra extra action though. So let's go ahead and get the hunting cabin or the dock set up here. One of our neighbors has scouted us. Don't know where he is, but we'll find out in due time. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, can we, can we find a little bit more? Yeah, giant water. I wonder if there's going to be an island down there or something. If there's an island in the corner... Um, I would definitely not be opposed to... Oh, finally, we found some deer. Okay, so that's going to give us some bounty there, which is cool. We're finding some relics. And uh, we could set up more hunting cabins in the meantime if we want to. Looking at hunting cabin spots, there's a couple good ones up north of us there. 
I'm setting up some water here. Or at least gonna try to. It's extremely far away from our base, so if it gets compromised, we're just straight up not gonna be able to uh not gonna be able to defend that. All right, cool. So let's keep cruising. We, we want to get one stable. Okay, we found a wolf. Um, the reason why we want to get one stable is so we can just build some a roost knight. Not only to protect against early aggression, but also to go get the bounties out here. So look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got we got fishing boats here. Unfortunately, there's somebody else like right next to us there. So yeah, there is there is some serious water action here. Okay, so let's keep looking around. How are we doing here? Looks like we're discovering uh, foreign empires. We have another hunting cabin coming up, which is going to be good. And uh, I wanted to make a fishing boat. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, wow. There's more water up here. Okay. Uh, is that a trade post? No, it's a dock. Okay. So I have a good spawn, but the thing is I don't have um, I don't have any, like, you know, immediate access to water. So we're going to be a little bit behind like that. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, and green is in the corner. He's got he's landlocked too. There's some crazy good spawns here. There's some crazy good spawns. All right, let's pull these guys back. Let's go get on wood, and um, we can build two trade ships. Pull you back. Uh, I am not actually. I crossed half the map to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He thinks I'm next to him, which is pretty funny. Get another horseman there. We're gonna get two guys, and then we're gonna go boar hunting, and hopefully, hopefully not get Robert Brathian. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl is a fun game. They just need to add more features to it. Oh, really? You're gonna do me like that? Okay. Well, I guess we can uh, we can sail up river, and uh, we can cancel this, which is gonna give us our TC a little bit quicker. All right, let's do that. And did we have a deer camp up here? We do. I believe there's a deer camp, so we can go set up next to that because. Our fishing endeavors are not gonna last long. Hey, one of my boats was allowed to get away though. Let's go just fish in the corner here. Pull you guys up top. We share we sharing this water like the legions of old, yeah. That's pretty funny. Okay. Alright, let's set you up. Oh no, the con the con is coming. Oh. Okay, we found another base here. Probably gonna lose the scout, it's okay. Cool. So we got that party started, and uh, now we got you guys. So I need to, I need some glasses, man, to see where all this uh, this boar at. I'm pretty sure there was a boar down here. Yeah, there was. Okay, so we can go hunt that bad boy. And it looks like we have a deer camp here, which hasn't been touched. So let's uh, take that if possible. Cool. And uh, now we can switch over to food, so we can set you up here on the berry bushes. TCs are all in action, and uh, you know what? We got we got one going here. We'll not touch your ship. <laughs> Ah, it's all good. I mean, it's 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 a bit of a wasted investment, but it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. We'll 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 get a good land-based economy, and we'll be uh, we'll be living our best life here. All right, wheelbarrow. Use you guys jump on food here, and then we can eventually set up farms there. Tug this side of the map, and uh, let's do this and attack the boar. All right, so that's gonna give us the resources we need, and then we need to start on gold too. So let's do this. Take down the dread boar, and uh, then we go up here and take down that boar as well. We need to get that maximum, like, food action going soon. All right, so the dock is down. We managed to get keep one fishing boat, which uh, I don't know how it'll work, actually. I can't remember if they can teleport food back to uh, other other uh, sources. Okay, looking good. So we got plenty on food now, so let's go ahead and start switching on to gold a little bit. We can, of course, sell resources with our uh, golden gate, but, you know gotta do our thing so we're gonna keep setting up hunting cabins too and uh hunting cabins this map actually has a couple good spots so let's set up a hunting cabin and uh let's get one right here and then we can get one up here as well i think i'm looking for those really sweet spots all right so that's a that's a pretty good layout of hunting cabins there yeah we can make the mini map larger i think i can uh it's this one here we go okay it's kind of weird all right let's go boar hunting yeah i can definitely see it a little bit better now I think I still have good vision. I'm not sure. I don't think I need glasses or anything yet, but... Okay, that's enough on gold. Switch back to food. Let's go boar hunting. See what goodies we can find in the shadows. We got triple stable in case anybody wants to get aggressive against us. And uh, Maso and I are sharing the resources to an extent, which is pretty funny. Okay, let's take down the boar. Got the stables coming up. Castle Age has been reached. Obviously, we're on. Uh, we're more or less on 
Uh, 2 TC, so we're going to be a little bit slower to age up. Alright, so now we need to go find another boar. Looks like we found one of our English uh, neighbors here. It is going to be Patty. And, uh, cool. Pretty close to aging up. We got the 2 TC action, and we have another boar over here, so let's go hunt that bad boy down. The corner alliance? Oh, looks like there's alliances being formed, eh? Oh, wow, already? Jeez. Alright, Abby of the Trinity in the corner. And uh, the fourth landmark, we would hide somewhere else. But yeah, we want it to be in the corner, if possible. Stables, uh, let's go ahead and get that. So we can do some castle age aggression if we want to. And now the villagers, we need to switch onto this. All right, so they'll finish the Abbey of the Trinity and then they can come back to wood. Fresh our lumber mill. We have hunting cabins being set up. Remember, turn purple is a peaceful color. Yeah, I suppose so. We have French near us as well. So the French are lurking in the shadows. We should have really good gold from our hunting cabins too. I think that's going to be very, very nice for us. All right, so um, we can set up on the top here if we want to. We have some good spots here, so let's do that. Sacred sites. Looks like we got two sacred sites jammed together. Oh, wow. Both sacred sites are just literally right there. I'm sure you guys told me that earlier, but I was just focused on something else. All right. Please don't go for the big knight first. Of course it does. <laughs> A darn pig. Pigs causing problems. Yeah, we're in an FFA game out of the gates here. It looks like my um, my boat did end up getting karate shot there, so. Oh my god, is this pig going to just do glorious battle versus us? We'll see if it re onto the appropriate target. Alright, so age up's coming. Probably start gathering some stone. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh my god, look at this dread boar, dude. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. I'm going to have to build some knights and come back and avenge the fallen. I thought that we would be able to get there, but no, it was not the case. All right, so a little hunting cabin set up all over the realm, which is outstanding. And we have this, so let's go ahead and get that and see if we can grab some of these relics down here. It's not much, but it's something. And uh, now we can do uh, this and this, just to be extra safe. We can get our knights coming across, and uh, we need to get vengeance on the boar who has wronged us. Okay, cool. How much gold are we getting from that? Oh, it's only 21. It's not that great, I guess. Keep setting up cabins. I always forget what the cap is. I think there is a cap on how much you can make with them. Okay, knights are cruising across. We need to uh, have you get back on wood here. Do this. Build some houses, because I'm a potato. The dreaded uh, afternoon brain fog has come for me, guys. All right, now we're going to switch into a farm economy a little bit. And uh, hopefully be able to get some of these sweet relics. Okay, is there any more relics down here? There's one in the middle. So we'll see if we can grab that. We'll kind of park on top of it. Got a couple of Roost Knights cruising across. Um, now, let's go ahead and start building some farms. Great. All right. So we're getting a farm economy going because we want to, you know, have a smooth transition into the later stages of the game. Set that up. Teal's probably sweating bullets as I ride past him. A couple of Roost Knights, but uh, we our quarrel is not with him. It's with his boar. This boar of the north. All right. So let's get you uh, to do this. Start setting up there. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You can't have it. Not today. That, that relic belongs to me. <laughs> Poor Taha. Oh, no. I, I do feel a little bit bad about that. That was pretty villainous. All right, so let's get in here. Uh, we got the lumber upgrades coming along. Now we can go for the boar, which should put our bounty to the maximum here. Do that, and uh, cool. The relic, let's take that. Take it back to the old base. And now we have maximum bounty, so that's great. So now we just camp this relic for a little bit and then we're, we're chilling. Okay, looking good. Get some more farm set up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, close enough. We'll just we'll throw a couple in extra in there for, for good measure. All right, so we got a lot of roost knights coming out. Should be good for aggression. And uh, we got relic man coming back. So he's going to grab it and do this, and then go back down here and see if we can grab this one. Look at all these... these. <laughs> I've seen like three or four players yeah, coming in there and just grabbing, trying to get the relic. Not today, dude. I need the goods. We'll get the Chef Boy RD. It's really good. Uh, those upgrades are coming in. It looks like Purple's trying to do a wall here, uh, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, I understand it. Just trying to protect your own interests there. He's doing a wall in a wall here. 
Okay, so we should have a religious character coming for that relic soon, I think. Okay, so we dropped one off, and uh, homeboy's coming here. No, we're not attacking you. Could have sworn I had a second guy. Yeah, so where is, where is he? Where is he? I could have sworn he was around here. I had him going out to grab that relic. Setting up our little palisades right there, which is excellent. Now let's start just gathering stone, too. Got to get all that stone off the map. Okay, where where are you? Okay, I'm trying to get get like his movement on the map and see where he is. Well, we'll send a boat down there and we should be able to figure it out. All right, let's go take this scout down. There we go. All right, so now we can come get this relic. I, I would wager there's going to be a force that might show up soon. Um, we got farms going pretty good. And we need to get more production infrastructure just in case things get messy. I usually like the knight crossbow combo for Roos. Feels pretty strong. And, uh, all right. So let's just keep cutting off big quadrants of the map here. Although, this is just straight up somebody's base. Uh-huh. Sure, why not? We'll try and get away with it. I see him sitting there. He's watching. Probably going to roll up with some big Holy Roman army here soon. All right. So we can just go imp now. Um, as far as what we want to do with our landmarks. Okay, yeah. He's, he's going to get that relic. I don't have enough guys here. Do I? I don't think so. No, he's got more. He's got nine against my six. Well, let's pull back. Bit of a shame. Um, could get some more knights. I didn't even upgrade my knights to the next age, actually. So he's going to get that relic 100%. We're going to get two. And let's pull back. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. We're, we're still alive. Everything's going. You guys have finished that gold. So let's go down here. Grab this. And uh, Masso's base is kind of a... Uh, yeah, he's kind of a buffer for me, so I actually don't want to attack him. Uh, I don't think it's worth fighting over the relic. Yeah, I don't think it is. Let's make some crossbows. Looking good. We got our two relics here. Yeah, like I don't. Yeah, I don't have any the any uh, you know bad relations here with the the, the Lord Masso. We'll probably set up a keep on our border just to be safe. Just passing through, dude. Just passing through. Purple, though, is English, and Patty is also a very good player, too, so we gotta worry about that. Nobody wants to play with late game English. Okay, let's get you and you. We managed to get two relics. Not amazing, but we have our hunting cabin, so it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world. Okay, let's do this, and we can set up a keep here. Just need, like, a, like one or two dudes to build that. Massing an army. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll wait to really wall my empire until we can get the Chad Skaya. And then I can do the uh, stone walls. Yeah, it's a mega random map. Yeah, it's mega random. That's why it's so weird. Purple building the, the Great Palisades of Doom. And uh, we could probably get a siege workshop to start making some rams. The dreaded siege workshops are quite OP. All right, so let's get back in the corner here. And you guys can start on this. Yeah, we're just kind of gathering right now. I could be aggressive, take down the French, but they seem to be they seem to be chilling. I don't think uh, I don't think the French are going to be too aggressive here, although you never know. You never know. All right, let's go see what what Oh, what's this? Okay, he's just walling. It's fine. He's walling. Uh let's go see what the wall situation looks like. It looks like there's a priest there trying to grab a little something something. I'm not going to wall too heavily until I want to get um Spaskaya. Okay, so let's go hammer those guys down. Do this. We got walls. Is there any way past said walls? Let's go kind of explore the borders here. Kind of uh, familiarize ourselves with the lands. You guys know the Ramstein's coming, the Duhast. The Duhast seems to be the most like effective way to you know siege early on. Oh, hello. Look at this. All right. So we'll ride on top of these gold miners. You know, I need these resources. These are uh, these are pretty pretty important for me here. Okay, a couple of bills going down. I can't let him be taking this stuff, that's for sure. And we'll set up a farm or a keep here too. So let's get on top of these guys. <laughs> You're mining in my lands. He's <laughs> like turd comes for me. I love it. I love it. He's like he's he's pulling the Grima right now. You know, he's he's Grima worm tonguing me. All right, I know I should build my keep somewhere else. We never put that away. Lovely. Good place for me. Very good at this game. 
Okay, so it's just gonna keep clearing all this out. And uh, now what we need to do is grab you. Get back to the farms, and we need to go Imperial Age. Which we'll do by putting a spaz, a spaz guy back here to protect our like last landmarks. We're not gonna we're not gonna smeagle it this game. I mean we could, but um, I think you kind of have to invest in the smeagle playstyle a little bit earlier. And then if we were to go wonder, it would be like right in front of this basically. Yeah. If if we were to get to that point. Okay, so people are reaching Imperial Age. Obviously we're not yet. We'll get there in due time, but Spaskaya will soon be upon us. And uh, unfortunately, we only have two relics. Unfortunately, we only have two relics. Now, Roos can get crazy, crazy economies um, based on uh, based on wood. So I'm trying to keep that keep that going. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, let's update that. And get some more knights. We got a lot of golds in the bank. Food is one of our limiting resources, strangely enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. And uh, we can go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, great. So that should basically handle our food situation for now. You always got to be planning ahead for wonders and things like that, you know? Okay, looking good. Can't wait to get Spaskai up so I can build some proper walls in my empire and not, not be, like, vulnerable with wooden palisades. Uh, are we getting attacked? No, not quite. Looks like Masso's down here. Oh, hello. So you have like the Red Palace or some shit? Oh, it's just a TC. Okay. So um, we should probably go down there and deal with that. It's gonna make make us some enemies for sure, but yeah, because I don't want to, you know, let all those resources go quietly into the night here. And huh? Uh huh? How dare you, dude? This TC is just bombarding me. He's trying to get some walls up, but the wrath of uh, the wrath is coming. All right, so let's get you guys here. All right, so we can do some MLG plays. You ready for this? <laughs> Not today. All right, so we gotta we gotta take all these guys down. Trying to build those walls, it's just gonna be a wasted stone for him, unfortunately. Uh, Could have brought the Rams, I suppose. All right, so let's get you guys back. Have you guys jump on gold. And now we just go for this TC. Looking great. We got keeps all over the place. We got farms going. And uh, now we do the uh, uni upgrades. Okay, perfect. So he's got his little palisades. Should be able to torch this down. It's certainly not going to be making, you know, improving any of our relations. Uh, that's for sure. All right, so let's get you, you, and you. All right, let's keep the Great Wall of the Roos going here. We have our Rams, we have our dudes. So let's get back and back. So we could definitely get backstabbed, not backstabbed, but attacked at some point, I would wager. Okay, and first things first, we want to get the biology upgrade. So let's get biology. And you guys can go ahead and build a uh, keep down here. Secure these resources. Red and teal take in the middle, are they? Oh man, look at that, okay. All right, so what is our eco at, 106? We can make some solid do hosting here. So we'll gather up at the borders here. Um, horsemen, and uh, we can also upgrade our crossbows. I don't know if it's worth, but probably is considering we have a, a whole bunch of them. Probably is. All right, so let's actually just try to finish this so we can make sure we secure that gold down there because we actually are pretty light on gold at the moment. Yeah, we need to we need to get more guys on gold. Let's not not show show any hands yet. Let's um okay increases the damage of trebuchets. We have the ability to produce streltsy. Looks like one of our hunting cabins. You know, I think I might just have to try and kill him because like uh you know he's just right up on my shit. All right, so let's get the Rams going. I might not be able to, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a good a good college try. He might be massing spears too, so we should get some archer attack ready. And it looks like we got the keep here, so let's get on golds and uh, get the do hostening going. Yeah, I think we have biology coming out in a second, so that's gonna be nice. All right, Rams. Oh wow, it's actually open here, so the Rams can just go straight for the keep, and we can we can try and bully in here. No, we need to get the walls down. Yeah, they can't quite fit through that seam. 
Okay, let's get on the walls. He might have the, uh, the some sort of a keep here. Let's see what his army looks like. Okay, that is a lot of dudes. Thankfully, he's not torching the rams. Okay, let's just get in here and see what kind of damage we can do. We can make horsemen also. They'll benefit the, from the biology. You gotta love the Duhast, man. It is, uh, it is no joke. Okay, so let's uh, purge what we can. Keep the rams going through. He's taking a lot of damage. I would wager his armies are going to be here in a moment. Okay, let's gather up. Gather back on the rams. Uh, we want to continue upgrades if possible. A little bit tight on gold at the moment, so not going to happen. Okay, he's got basic... I don't know what he's been doing, but he's making a uh, feudal age archers against me. Ah, oh, there's the full army. Okay, that was, I was wondering what was gonna, how that was gonna go down. Okay, so I don't know if we can win this. I don't know how upgraded his knights are. They're veteran knights against our elite, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Our army's a little bit small though. We need to get like just more swarming units here. Yeah, he's got a lot of spears mixed in too, so we might not win this. Uh, let's get our rams back just to be safe. Okay, how are the elite knights doing? Oh, they're actually doing really well. Jeez, okay. So, I, I, I shouldn't have underestimated them. Let's keep the rams going. Horsemen and archers and whatnot. Yeah, the elite knights are still just plowing through. Looking good. We got the gold going down here, which is outstanding. Rams are coming in, and yeah, the, uh, what that was is that was just our units being stronger. Oh, man, that was like very laggy there. Okay, Ramstein's on the way. Um, now what we can do is we can start making some barracks because we're gonna need, you know, infantry too eventually. And we just kind of keep pushing with the Rams and uh, having a good old time. Let's go ahead and get all the Rams, have them go here, and we can just keep spamming them out because the Red Palace is gonna st start mowing down our shit here in a minute. So we need to uh, be very careful with that. Horsemen, archers, looking good. You see how the Red Palace is just like lawnmowing our units. Got to get that red palace down. Yeah, he's got a lot of keeps and shit. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm sorry, villagers. Didn't mean it. Um, so let's get some uh, trebuchets in there. And you guys have finished that stone off. So let's go grab some more stone here and be as greedy as we possibly can. And you guys just keep hammering houses and, you know, whatever we can. You know, our army quality just, like, got super haggard super quick. Like, we don't have any source of infinite gold or trade based, based on where we are. Okay. Take some of these guys down. Okay, let's have you guys sit here. Hold position out of the range of the Red Keep while the battering rams continue doing their thing. Keep upgrading units. Looking good. And how's our eco? 128? Okay, we probably don't need any more. Have all the upgrades. Rams are getting a little bit hasty. The great part is there's just so many trees. You can see villagers here getting pulled through the fire and brimstone. Okay, guys. Just keep gathering up. Make Streltsy. Streltsy are just a great generalist unit. And uh, how are we doing on the infantry buildings? Looks like the, the great walls are being built still too. All right. So yeah, we got to worry about English aggression, but this will, if we can win this, it'll get rid of one of the big threats on our borders, right? Okay, let's go north with the Rams. Take down some of the Vils. We're going to have to delete some of our eco at some point. Okay, you just lost a lot of Vils right there. The damn Red Palace is such a menace, though. Once we get our traps here, it's going to change things up. Okay, so the Rams are coming in. Trebs are on the way. Yep, dude, Rams are so good. I mean, honestly, with that damage upgrade, and also in conjunction with the movement speed upgrade they got, it's uh, it's really nice. All right, so let's do chemistry. Uh, Army tactics is going to be pretty good. Let's keep hammering down the, um, the TC, I suppose. He's got his dreaded Spear Legion. It is Massa, the Lord of Spears, after all, so. Take down a couple more villagers here. His numbers have got to be running pretty pretty slim. Good defense so far. Uh, let's grab you guys, set up some more archer ranges. We need more production. We need more production. All right, so how's this looking? We're getting all the stone off the map. We got keeps protecting us here. Couple rams pushing deep in enemy lines. Let's just make some more rams. And uh, we can also get the trebuchet upgrade. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Slow and steady progress. There, I have hunting cabins all over the map. Yeah, I have them all over the place, see? If you look around. I, I mean, I can't 
I'm pretty much at the, the edge of my territory, so what you see is what you got. He's getting back to farms here. Let's take some horsemen down there. Go shut down the farming. Make it a little bit harder. Burning oil is probably going to be useful, and uh, we can get those upgrades as well. All right, horsemen, let's go party. Looks like his Dread Legion is riding out once more into the deep, probably to try and snipe my trebs, which uh, I could run with him. Sure, why not? I could do that. I can probably just make more. All right, so let's ham hammer that down. A couple more men at arms, so let's guard him, and that's going to be the TC. And he still has the red. He's Imperial, so he's got like Red Palace and stuff, right? So we need to get the Red Palace. Okay, so you guys just jump on gold, please. He says I live by a thread, yeah, truly. Truly, my friend. Okay, here comes the Ramstein. Stand on top of this, stand on top of this. I think I need ranged upgrades still. I don't think I've gotten those yet. It has been a while since we've had an age stream. Yeah, I've been really enjoying Company of Heroes 3, but honestly, um, so here's the thing with Company of Heroes. I'm kind of at, at a bit of a, like I've been playing a lot, like on my own time, and I've gotten to a point where on the leaderboard where I'm, you know, I'm like around top 300, top 400 players, like getting to that more competitive level. And if you don't play the meta, like you, you're just like punished, like the, the, the game balance is really kind of pretty bad at the higher levels because it's just like you can get away with like fun builds but there's just so many things that like if you don't display airborne if you don't display you know um the german airborne or the the mario karts with africa core you're just like so much weaker um gg okay so i think we're good let's send the rams in there and i don't like that i like to have like some diversity of options and i don't like that like half the battle groups in that game are just dead it, it's kind of yeah it's a bit of a bummer like, obviously, in team games and whatnot, it doesn't really matter too much, but, yeah, it's it's a shame. All right, so let's keep, Ram, keep Ram signing here. He's got a lot of keeps. Oh, that's his last line mark right there. Okay. So we'll knock this one down, and uh, if you let him take my corner, he'll wonder you all, <laughs> Siberius. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. All right, let's send you down here. That's his last line mark right there, I'm pretty sure. It's a slow battle. It's a slow grind. I believe we have uh, more of you guys now, so let's do this, 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 and come back. I spawned with one gold deposit and Annie stonewalled you in. <laughs> Classic. That's 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 how you know it's true friendship right there. Tons of stone, little gold. Yeah, certainly an apt description. So civs like England are going to be the strongest as usual. Is he trying to raid me or something? Look at this. Okay. Well, we got Strelzy here, so we should be able to pound those guys down. Okay, let's get that last landmark. Let's keep moving and a grooving. Hey, Ledron, thank you. Uh, remember to get the tithe barns at some point? Yeah, I only have two relics. It's probably, nah, I don't know if it's worth it. Eh, yeah, it's great. If the game goes on for hours, it could be worth it. I only have two relics, and unfortunately, my first conquest uh, did not. I don't know if he has a marketplace somewhere. That's obviously a variable to consider. I could dive in, try and get that, lose some units potentially. All right, so let's get the upgrades for these guys, and uh, we can just start grabbing stone. I bet you the English in the north came back and just grabbed those goodies. I bet you they did. Okay, how are we looking? 128? Pretty small military. Please don't. Bro, please, don't make me feel bad. I always hate it. Like, I always hate... There's part of me that doesn't like, like, in these, in these like, kind of more casual formats, like FFA, like, taking someone out. Because, like, their, their experience of the game is over in that moment, you know? All right, so let's go see what, what lies, lies beyond the veil here. Okay, let's do this. Hello. He, uh, he had a lot of relics, actually. Jeez. Okay, so checking this out. We'll send the trebuchets to go take you down. I, I don't think uh, I don't think he's got a market of any sort. Although maybe a dock. Oh, hold on. Okay, maybe there's that. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this, and um, we can consider that as an option. Obviously, having these villagers purge all the resources off the map is going to be good, especially stone. And uh, yeah, we need to send at least one of you guys to go see what's up here. All right, so we got a decent little standing army. Uh, what's this character doing? 
just like goblins running around my base. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish there, but certainly he's up to no good. Ah, uh, and let's set up you and you. All right. GG, Masso. <laughs> it's her beating a poor player who's just trying to have fun. I know, I know, I feel bad. All right, so what are we looking at here? We got a lot of stone, so let's grab a couple of you guys. Do this, and uh, we can start on you and you. And is there any way to do that? Oh no, the dreaded berry bushes. Okay, here, here, and here. And it looks like this is sealed, but just in case it's not, let's do that. And now we just kind of need to secure our empire here, guys. Make sure we're stable. All is good in the realm. Keep grabbing all the stone that's possible, because you know that's uh, not something that's easy to come by. Granted, with Rus, you can do the um, you can do the Golden Gate, so that's cool. Okay, that looks fine. Got you guys. So let's start on this. Got villagers going to build the Great Wall here. I think a gatehouse is being built. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay. So we'll just keep these trebuchets here. Take our, our standing army and go, like, defend, uh, you know, our, our wall position here. Nadiori on the Sacreds is a little bit scary. The fact that they can just kind of do their thing there. Um, let's get you. Yes, and spear upgrades. And the Great Wall should be coming soon. Got to be careful that nobody just, like, strangle holds that middle. Turn in here, make sure our gold income keeps going. Yeah, honestly, gold's going to become very sparse. It's going to become very, very sparse here in a minute. Like that and that. We'll delete some of the workers here as well. What the hell is this? Green's army? Eight man? What the? What? What is this? Don't you dare, dude. Don't you dare. Look at this. Look at this. What is this little, like... I'm pretty sure he got killed, and this is just like his gremlin army that he has. Okay, so we'll steamroll them here. Whatever the hell this is. Anyone stopping red? I mean, like, yeah. There's a red palace in the middle. Yeah, there is. Sacred, a sacred play would be very brazen here. It'd be very brazen. Probably a million keeps by now. You know it can kill a million keeps, a million rams. All right, so let's uh, also set up you on the border here, I think would be good. Can we? No. Okay, just weird stuff. Is there like something down here? All right, so let's keep, keep following. Okay, let's bring the rams down here. Ah, oh, there's like a fallen, uh, fallen or a tower from before. And yes, looks like there's some sort of a wall there. Okay. So that's pretty good. Turn you guys in. Need to make sure the traders uh, keep flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. One of my favorite Dumb and Dumber lines. I don't know why it's so funny. It just is. Okay, so walls is coming up on the bottom. Gotta secure that. I'm gonna start getting shot by this keep here. So we probably need to um, attack, yeah. With our army while the villagers build. Yeah. This is fine. Okay, so let's uh, have you guys move in. We're going to get burning oil pretty good. But it's more about getting the walls up than anything. Okay, and let's make some of you and some rams. I am weak. Please don't Come on, finish those walls. That's that's what we need. We just need those, those sweet, sweet walls to be finished. Okay. Now in the meantime... Ah, oh, there was a wall network there. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Just trying to get my walls up, dude. But my poor villagers are getting uh, getting capped here. Okay, do we have any more stone? We do. I believe there's a fat stone node back here, or at least a little bit left. Okay, we can make some spears. It's going to be pretty shitty supply lines, to be honest, but... I'm just trying to finish the walls. I don't even want to fight them. Okay, but it looks like it's going to be a potential war, although one of the keeps is going to go down here. Okay, yeah, so we got a marshal for war then, in this case. Um, our eco is still way too big. So we need to we need to do this to get bigger armies. 
These are not my keeps. I believe we knocked that keep down. No, we didn't. So we need to keep sieging that. Okay, how's this looking down here? For our little alcove. We have a lot on wood. Uh, the wood spam is necessary though, because the the do host. Okay, so we need to set up a tower here just to pop those villagers. I don't want to make too many enemies, I suppose. All right. Yeah, this is good. Is it really only that that much trade? I feel like the distance is so much further, but I guess uh, I guess I was not not accurate about that. Cannon tower, huh? Okay. Let's pull back here. We got the do host. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of chilling out. We have the uh, we have the trade going to an extent. How much do we have? Twenty four traders. Should definitely be some more. So we'll want to delete you guys. Then we'll try and rewall that corner there. Keep sieging this down. Green is on the other side of the river, doing God knows what. We don't want to change our food. What the hell is this? Are they doing some like long distance shit? They might be. Don't poke the bear. Okay, well, apparently there's a bear being poked here. I think he wants to come out and fight, which is fine. I'm down to party. <laughs> the trebuchet battle. Are we going to scoot, scoot with the trebs? No, I'm not going to get that up. Okay, let's hit the walls. We got the rams at the ready. I guess we just delete these because they're nowhere near coming up here. He is uh, playing what, Siv? Is he English? Ah, oh, shit. He's English. So that means it's just going to be a big, infinite gold, mouth-breathing food blob. Ay ay ay. Well, at least we have trade going. That, that's the one thing that we got going for us. Okay, so... These are not my walls. Is there a way into my base here somehow? What are you, what are you trying to do here, huh? Why are you like this? Okay, so maybe I grab some of my dudes and uh, we get a couple knights and go back here. Go hunting. I don't know what he's scouting. Maybe he's trying to see what I'm doing here. <laughs> Freaking Barksher everywhere I go. I know. It's the way of things, man. It's the way of things. So let's go do this. And then we can set you up on the other side. I have a couple knights hunting. And uh, these guys... Yeah, they're about to run into this fast guy in the corner. So he's probably just scouting. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, that solved that problem. I don't want to like get into a big open warfare with Red, because here's the thing, he's in the middle of the map, right? He's in the middle. He's like on the highway to the danger zone. He's straight up listening to Kenny Loggins. So, um, yeah, so we need to just like siege this, because he's put himself in a position where he's kind of kind of make himself a bit of a public enemy. So, um, so yeah, we need to just kind of bank on that. And is something attacking me here? Oh, the Khan, okay. So he knows I'm trading the Mongols. I don't know how strong he is, but let's go take this bad boy down. Electron! Oh my god, it, it's gotta happen, dude. There's just been so many new games coming out I've been focusing on. <laughs> there will come a time when content gets stagnant again and we go back to playing uh, older games. Thank you, Electron. I appreciate it, man. Guys, I'm not kidding. Red has a dozen keeps on Sacred. Yeah, well, that that would be a lot of people to try and uh, try and fight through, for sure. Okay, so if we do this... Can we get this here? Okay, interesting. Yellow's doing a run by? Not sure where he's going. He's just trying to have a little bit of fun, seeing what's going on in the neighborhood. Okay, so we'll chase these knights down. I do need to probably seal this breach here. A dozen seems like an exaggeration. It's probably not, to be completely honest. Uh, oh, there's, look, he's... Okay, that's a good thing. The fact that the Mongols are using that dock to trade as well is quite solid. I don't know what they're doing on this side of the map, though. It's very strange. All right, let's come over here. Okay, those knights are... Oh, they're going for the dock. Okay, he's, he's, he's coming trying to shut down our gravy train. Okay, so the last of these knights... Let's go here and here. You can have half of them chase the other one. And the Mongols are just trying to farm buildings as well. I don't know what he's warning me about. Maybe he's like threatening to delete the dock, which I'd be okay with that. I could find more trade. <laughs> Just some, some random ass warrior monk there. Okay, let's get your knights back. Green and blue trading to a dead dock. Yeah, yellow. Yellow is, is the, the worm tongue right now. My lord, he is trading. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay. So we still have a lot of people in this game. 
and several English players, which is not a good thing. What the hell happened to my wood? Did he just die? Oh, he just got a bunch of men at arms and killed all my <laughs> my woodworkers. All right, we'll, we'll we'll roll with it. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. So, like, I guess we have to go kill Patty, which uh, is not going to be an easy feat. So let's go ahead and grab our TCs and start making some uh, wood bills again. Oh, we actually still have good good eco here. Okay, so we're not in, like bad shape by any stretch. Okay, so let's go see what he's doing here. I have no idea what he's trying to accomplish with these men at arms other than being annoying. Okay, so we can set up a little keep here to protect the trade route. We have a lot of stone. We have 12,000. So yeah, I think we go kill, we try and kill purple. It's not going to be easy, but the problem is that it does give a lot of agency to um, to uh, our, our, friend, uh, our friend in the the middle. But I think there's another people. Yeah, I think there's another other people. Okay. Someone's someone's trying to politic against me here. To be expected. We found all these haggard men at arms. How low did he get up here? I could have sworn I had the gates closed. Um gates unlocked auto? Okay, that's weird. Alright, so let's get that lumber economy going. Let's see this, this, and this. Looks great. He glides over here. Of course, dude. Of course. I think he killed a couple wood villagers. I'm not sure how many. Did we miss? He, I think he might have done a siege tower, honestly. I don't know how he got up on the walls. Yeah. I am not sure. So the Mongols are back down there. Um, I have a keep coming up, which should protect my trade. Yeah, he's getting like nothing from his trade. All right. So our siege infrastructure is pretty close here. So let's uh, test the waters. What are we at now? Okay, our, our eco is actually much more balanced now. It's good. He ended up doing us a little bit of a favor there. Okay, so we got that for later if we want to take that, you know, approach. Hopefully this keep will finish sooner than later. Looks like he's just farming that, which is okay. Mongols are, you know, a threat, but not compared to the uh, English. English will just blow the Mongols out of the water in terms of uh, an actual threat. So I'm going to lose a couple battles here. But we need to basically just get in and cause some havoc and hope that he's being sandwiched from the north as well. That's uh, kind of our claim to fame. Ah, how dare you. Alright, so maybe I gotta take some knights down there, go purge this, because we need that keep up. Do I have anybody here that can finish this? We do. We have some folks here. Alright, let's grab you and turn in. Let's rebuild our eco a little bit. And uh, did the dock get destroyed? I don't think it did. Unfortunately, I just pulled my knights away from this battle to go deal with the Mongol raids in the south. Okay, where did those villagers go? They're having to go all the way up and around. Jeez. The knights should be there uh, relatively soon. Oh my god, you see the Rebalkans he's got? Look at that shit. <laughs> he's got like 50 Rebalkans. Oh my god, look at that haggard army. It's going to beat mine for sure, 100%. Well, it's basically just us splashing our armies into one another. Okay, we're going to kill these spearmen here, these Mongol spearmen. And then we'll rebuild the tower once uh, the villagers get out there. The keep, which I forgot to cancel. Alright. Oh, wow, we actually smashed that army. Jeez. Okay, I didn't expect that. Alright then. Well, uh, I guess that's how that goes. Okay, let's knock down this. Let's keep moving. Thankfully, we can delete our own wall. Let's move right past it. And it looks like the knights were able to do the job, so let's head back up north. I could delete that dock to troll him, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Okay, he's got a lot of entrenchments, obviously. So it's not going to be an easy kill by any stretch. And uh, let's just do Ramsteins to save gold. Yeah, why, why make good expensive units when we can just make rams? We need our, our own knights, because, yeah, we had to send them south to deal with that other raid. Okay, Strelzy. Time to shine. Come on, Rams. Get in there. Go for the keeps. Okay, how are we looking? Everything's fine here. We got a keep coming up, and we can do another keep right here to protect it. Obviously, someone could come for us, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so we have an entrenched English player, dude. It's like the least fun thing to battle in the game, because even if you play better, they can just steamroll you with gold. Okay, let's go up here. Where are these, like, spearmen keep coming from? Oh, he's got, like, a little encampment right there. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, let's cancel that. 
Keep moving here. There are bigger threats. As you as you go and build rams in the back of my base, as you build rams in the back of my base. Look at that, dude. <laughs> He's like, there are bigger threats. Okay, let's keep bombarding here. If uh, I could, I could go for the dock delete there. Overall, this doesn't feel like it's going to be a winning fight, though. Yeah, because I'm going to get teamed on, I think. Okay. No problem. So we got to pull back now. I don't think it's worth fighting here. I think it's it's just securing our trade is more important here. Set up another keep here. Okay, so trying to set up a keep. Spears are coming to troll us. Let's get our knights down there again to go deal with his spears, and we'll also run over his little pocket there. How much trade is he actually getting? Oh, he's only getting 18, so he's not getting much trade at all. Yeah, he's not getting much. Okay, we're definitely going to get teamed on. I mean, we're pretty, we're strong, but I would wager they're def not as much of a threat as England. But do your worst. Yeah, they can team me. But the English players are just going to win the game if they do that. 100%. I can rebuild the trade, too. Okay, let's cancel that keep. Okay, so the trade is shut offline. Let's go hide them in the corner for now. English will win if I die 100%. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no if standard buts about that. England is just so strong. We should be able to defend against these armies adequately well. Like, uh, so, I think, like, more experienced FFA players will know that if you let English thrive, or any save with infinite gold, I mean, of course, trade does constitute that, but trade can be shut down. English farms can't. Okay. So now we fight off these armies, and we just... We'll go destroy that dock for now. I think that's our best bet. Or we, we could try and re-secure it with our, our Dread Legion here, but it ain't going to be easy, that's for sure. We could get Siege uh, in the north as well. So let's have our ram do its thing here. Yeah, oh, the politics will usually work against work against me, unfortunately. Yeah, they see that they saw some of them saw trade. It was decent trade, for sure. Um, let's pull you guys back. But the the two English players are teaming up. Non-English players, we must team up. Yeah, we have to, or else we're gonna get drowned in gold and food. I should be able to defeat some armies in open field. But the question is, uh, if the other English player decides to attack me, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much, except just kind of turtle and hold for a while. But we got to delete the infinite gold. Uh, we got to delete the infinite gold sieves. Take them out. Or else we will be drowned. Have to fight their men-at-arms with horsemen and archers. All right, so we push back Red's army. So, not easily, but definitely was good. Um, we see villagers over there. Let's go down here, see what we can secure. Let's grab you guys, do this, and pull you vills down. Let's come help out. Keep the traders back for now and keep going down this way. I like how we just have like 200 gold sitting in the back of the base. Never got the full lumber upgrades. All right, let's push the Mongols off. Because they're attacking me, too. I don't know what they're trying to do here. Thankfully, our army's pretty well equipped to deal with this type of stuff. Okay, so the boys are on the way. Streltsy, men-at-arms. I should probably just be making basic tier units and not, like, good quality ones. Get the last of the upgrades. Okay, Streltsy, mow down those guys. I'll probably just destroy that dock. Rico with the wonder, nice. <laughs> nice corner wonder there. Look at that. All right, so I probably should. Yeah, so sacred sacreds will uh, force the decap though. Okay, so this is where things get interesting, because red just goes sacred now. So let's push this off so I don't get backdoored. Okay, and the traders can go back to the docks. So we drove the Mongols back to the shadow realm. Uh, it, I don't see the wonder being built. I think he is he baiting with it. 
Not sure. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Here it comes. Good. Because I need to take down Wonder. Although I can't really get to the Wonder, honestly. It's going to have to be the English players on the other side. Um, this is a complicated situation. So Red's going to have to force a delete. We do that. All right. So he's got like some bow chads and whatnot. I guess he's going to try and uh, do the, the, the wonder bullying. So we're kind of like at their mercy here a little bit. Okay, so let's take down the Navy here. Get these traders back online. Because it's our only way to get gold. Patty says don't do it, Pink. What is this? Spare yourself? I can't even get over there, dude. It's like it's like pretty much impossible for me to get to that wonder. Okay, I think he's gonna go for the wonder. I think he's gonna pull the trigger on it. Yeah, look at this shit. What do you? What is? What is this even here? Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> why are you ramming me, Patty? Why are we like this? I shouldn't be having any connection issues. Oh, is the stream lagging a little bit? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it looks like the numbers uh, dropped a little bit, so maybe there was a little bit of lag. Okay. Roos have okay gold, but it's, it, the, it's not nearly as good as the English. Yeah, it's definitely not. Siberius is all base project. Uh, it's nearly impossible to push that wonder. Okay, so we basically just have to play the, the sacred? And just hope that he's gonna let the sacred go here. I don't know. Let's set these up in the meantime. Let's knock down these keeps so we have some more staging room. Okay, so he's leaving with that now. That was a very weird ram attack. Maybe he wanted to do something there. I'm not sure. Sorry guys. Hopefully it'll be fine. Connection I'll find here. Yeah, try and refresh the stream. It should work it. Should work it out. So, um, all right. I'm not sure what we could possibly do. I could like go sail up river and uh, see what we can accomplish there. We push the haggard mongols off. We have to for the sacred. Yeah, well, we have the sacred, but then he Red's just going to win on the sacreds. Yeah, he's he's 100% going to win on the sacreds. Uh, these walls, do they help us in any way? Not really, but I'll go sail up river cuz like my chances of getting past Red and having to like do like some sort of a naval drop is um is pretty brutal. So Red, you aren't going to attack? Yeah. I don't think so. I can't get to Wonder unless you are also. I'd have to like find a way uh, around him. Okay, so let's build some transport ships. A couple of these bad boys. Uh, let's just delete these stupid walls. They're kind of in the way. Why can't I not delete them? It's weird. Like some random haggard hand cannoneers just trolling here. All right, so he's gonna push the one. This game's probably over. Yeah, it's probably over. Cause I don't know how we're gonna get there. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best to help, but. All right, so let's uh, delete all these guys. And uh, we got some transport ships popping out. See, uh, I can't, um, I can't attack with uh, this happening either. Yeah, he's 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 attacking me with bow chads. That's a shame. All right, so we got the Rams there. Let's get you guys down here. I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna like do a landing and do like one Ramstein, but that's pretty much it. So I guess we just do the sacred bluff for now and just um, yeah, because that's really our only bet. That's really our only chance here. Okay, let's do that. Um, you guys need to build um, this and this. Did it get deleted? No, it didn't. Okay. And we got you, you, and you. What is our eco at? 123. We probably want to delete some of the Woodvilles. Okay, so let's delete you guys. And we can take some of you guys gone as well. Is the wonder deleted yet? No. Our only real chance is to play with um, is to play with the uh, play with the sacreds. It's it's it. That's all there is to it. 
Rico delete. So we'll see if he deletes it or not. It's our only chance. There's no way. We could let the sacred guy win. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely good to teach a lesson. We got the keep coming up here, which is good. Let's get these villagers up to have them uh, help establish a beachhead for us to fight with. We'll delete these. The only path is at the edge of the map. Yeah. So he must have gotten a really good spawn. Uh, or at least not a good spawn, but killed somebody who had a good spawn. But, um, yeah, I, I can get through these defenses. I literally can't del delete that so people can push wonder. It's the ultimate choke. No problem. Then you will, uh, will win. If he doesn't delete it. Hey, it's the nature of the beast. We, I would definitely want him to win. Because you can't let the, uh... Yeah, like, you know, if they want to, if they want to, if he wants to roll the dice in that way, we got to have to let it. Well, if I try and stop Sacred, it's then the Wonder just wins. Because he's got apparently like a, a God tier choke back there. So it's, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, because apparently I think it's only red and one other person attacking. It looks like he's going to delete it, but I don't know if, it, if it's going to be with enough time left. Yeah, you can see red wasn't truly attacking here. We'll see if he does. I'll start the attacks. Uh-huh. Okay, let's get Trebuchets blasting away. I don't think he deleted it quick enough. Yeah, I think I think it's too late anyways. He, he, he waited too long. So, like, uh, I can maybe get this after a while, but an entrenched English player? Like, Red's going to win 100%. Okay, it's deleted. Probably too late, to be honest. Well, let's see if the other players can help me now. I mean, I can at least put a big dent in this army. Okay, so let's soften up all these defenses. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. And uh, we can grab some of you guys. And yeah, just keep Royal Rumble in here, man. That's it. We're knocking down the defenses, man, but we only have two minutes left. Oh, did he think that red was gonna like just like chill out and not <laughs> and stop attacking here? I don't, I don't think he understood the, <laughs> the nuances of this. The Mongols just why does he just have only spearmen? That's like you know, the whole game. I look at the green Mongols and he's just rocking like fifty spearmen. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least he's getting in there to help. What a Chad. Okay. Let's do this. Set up towers here. Knocking down all the siege here. Well, somebody else is going to have to play, do something because this is uh, this is looking pretty bleak. I do have 33 Stelzi, Strelzi on the way. Okay, let's fight here. Okay, so towers, 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 towers. Yes, all of it. And hopefully somebody else on the other side is getting, getting down and dirty too. All right, well, we got uh, a minute left, give or take. It's going to be pretty tight. I mean, his armies are definitely getting diminished a little bit. Let's go ahead and get the mangonels and blast these guys in the walls. Mm -hmm. Horsemen, archers, sure, why not? Okay, he's taking a lot of damage, but we need somebody else to attack. No, nobody else is here. It's just me. Hello, is it me you're looking for? All right, let's get you back. So we got some good damage. Red's army definitely got hammered, but he's uh, he's in a good position. I don't have like amazing supply lines. So we're gonna have to just make the, the jankiest of the jank. All right, cannon towers, let's knock him down. Keep moving in. Not that his trebuchets here will do too much. Green, oh my God. <laughs> Green's gonna end up doing more harm than good. <laughs> okay, come on, can we, can we blast these guys down? Let's get some towers here, let's get some towers. Keep trebbing. Green, go some other direction. Stop coming here. You're not helping. You're making it worse. <laughs> oh my god. Green, go somewhere else. You're not helping. You're like drawing my fire. Green, stop it. All right. This is like, green is literally attacking me. It's not making a difference of us getting this, but if it were close, it would. He needs to, like, dude, you have boats and stuff. Go go land here. Land here. GG. Took too long to delete Wonder. 
Yeah, if he had deleted the wonder a little earlier, we get it, for sure. Because we're making progress and he's running out of steam, but it's uh, it's not going to work out. Yeah, GG, well played. GG. Hey, it's good, though. I'm, I'm happy with how that uh, how that worked out. Because, you know, the wonder, the wonder player eventually, you know, realized his time was limited. But typically you would delete your wonder earlier if you know you have no chance of winning. So then that would give us an opportunity, you know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now, let's see what his unholy wonder spot looked like. So his wonder's here. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. So there's a choke point here. There's water. And then there's, like, a narrow choke here, too. That's a pretty good wonder, uh, wonder position, 100%. Yeah, he had a big army too. The English macro was on point and everything. I had my nice little corner, but yeah, GG, well played. That was a good match. It was a good match there. GG, delete the wall. It wouldn't let me delete the wall. I kept trying to delete it, but it kept saying it was too close to the um, it was too close to the enemy. Like enemies were too nearby to delete it. You can't delete um, walls if somebody's like right on it. I I don't think. Yeah, barks around the sacred. Oh yeah. All right, guys, round two. So different folks, if you weren't in the last game, feel free to join this one. Um, we are going to do a uh, random civs again. Yeah. Ugh. Westerly and Patty pulling the he's trading on you saved me. I know. I don't know. I, I wasn't even a threat. I was just like the haggard ruse with like, I don't know. I, I was not a threat. But yeah, when they when they, when they they killed my trade too, that, that pushed me out of the middle because I was going to contest sacreds, but... When they when they Grima worm tongued me, it forced me back. Random sieves. Today's random sieves day. I had to uh, help when they called for it, and you were spotting. I saw you on the sacreds. My plan was to go, but yeah. <laughs> All right, book. You got to go random. All right, let's get another terrible mega random map. Let's go. Pwn, don't you tease me like that, saying you're on your way. You stop it. How hyped are you for? Uh, Oh, I'm very excited, yeah. I'm very excited if that... I didn't even know that was, like, a thing. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop with, like, news. Yeah. It's covering so many games these days. It's been wild. Thank you guys all for joining. All right. Why am I getting Roos every single game, dude? God damn, random. <laughs> I was so excited for a Civ I don't play, like a Bassett or, or Delhi or Ottomans or something. But no, we get the Roos again. I know. Where's the Dread Pirate Roberts been? All right, no English in this game. That's good. That means you can actually you can actually beat them without without just pure suffering and misery. God, dude, I got it again. Reboot the game for performance. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Thank you for reminding me. I just got too excited to get into the next match. Oh man, Roos again. Just every single time. <laughs> They're, they're not a very good FFA sieve. The best thing that Roos can do is um, it's like hard castle pressure and just killing a neighbor and then taking map control that way. All right, let's do it. It's almost time. Now you have to pick the opposite landmarks. Do you guys want the bad landmarks? Do you want the Kremlin? Are we gonna Are we going to Kremlin rush somebody? The dreaded Kremlin rush comes, dude. Wouldn't it be funny if somebody just like rolls up and there's just like a Kremlin on their gold? Like, why? <laughs> why do we live just to suffer? Okay, let's go see what our corner looks like. What sort of unholy machinations can be can be prepared here? Okay, let's go find some deer camps. Pwn doesn't actually have Age of Empires. He's he's lying. It's it's a conspiracy. He's just tormenting us. He's he is he is uh Having fun at our expense. I always really like the villager sound. I don't know why. When they produce villagers, you know that like sound that plays? It's very uh, it's very nostalgic. Okay. Keep heading down this way. Looks like we have a neighbor. It's going to be Ventus and uh, Delhi, I think. Okay. Not, not having any luck with bounty yet. Looks like there's a mountain here. Book Delhi bros. <laughs> Wait, why is everyone... What are they talking about? Oh, okay, there's a Delhi Alliance going down. Okay. So let's bring these sheep back to the base so far. I must have a bad rally point here. Nah, curses. So it looks like we have a Delhi, a Delhi Shop Alliance. Forming very early. The, the Kremlin is so bad compared to the, the gold, the trade house. The trade house is so... Such insanely good utility. 
Okay, let's go exploring the great beyond, see what we can find. We got four villagers here. Okay, so that's a that's a decent start. You can just do the shift click now. You don't have to like because they fixed the uh, the fact that it used to take three attacks. It's been a while. Yeah, Dread Pirate Man. You, he used to play in a lot of our games, but haven't seen him in a hot minute. How? What are? Uh, by the way, for anybody who's been following like EGC TV and like pro play, what civs are just dominating? I'm, I've I'd be curious to know. Oh, don't don't you start denying Nanu. Don't do it. Look, Nanu's eyeing me. Oh my God! How dare you? Look at this. Nanu with this, the, the sweaty 1v1 tactics against me. It's fine. I play Roos. I'm used to this. <laughs> okay, Nanu's going to leave now. But we should be able to get the shot off before he gets back. Yep. Crack distance buffers, and we only lost one deer. Okay. I almost want to go after Nanu for that transgression. <laughs> I don't know if I would, I would succeed, obviously, but... Yeah, more sheep coming our way. Hey, look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. It's a lovely little uh, pond we have here, isn't it? Lovely little pond. Okay, so we see a boar over there, which is good. And we're getting a couple deer camps. We should be good on the bounty. Okay, let's get you up here. Come play the river a little bit. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Another deer camp. Man, we're finding all the goodies here, dude. Dude, what is what is this? Uh, the otter with the denial. Good thing cons do so little damage they can't really deny properly. Oh wow, that one actually did. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Give me that. Oh. oh. Okay, we got it. <laughs> That's like one fun element of the roost is the fact that you get to play like a bit of a mini game. You know, it's always a good time. Okay, so this guy is uh, gonna go to the middle of the map now. This, set that up. All right, so we got some decent bounty. We're up to 250, which is a, a solid benchmark. <laughs> Curse this con's damage. Oh my god, I got so excited with my mini game, I forgot to age up. All right, Golden Gate it is. It's fine. We were uh, we were doing some secret delayed uh, delayed tech build. Yes. Okay, so let's go see what's going on on the river. Release the river. Okay, let's just cruise across the map. We found another deer camp, which is outstanding. So somebody somebody might be up in this corner here, across the water, which would be very, very reminiscent of last game. And now we can start getting some river. English was banned from all the maps this weekend. Yeah, England just seems OP. They seem pretty overpowered. I mean, I used to main them, and they, they've they always felt like overpowered, honestly, in this game. Like attack speed on all your units, among other things. All right, let's keep exploring the map. See who lurks up in the in the shadows here. Okay, so when you guys do this, we'll go jump on that. A lovely little uh, corner position here, isn't it? And uh, deer encampment, dude. It's like a it's all this lovely nature. We're gonna run out of sheep in the base though, hundred percent. So let's go ahead and set up on the berry bushes here. Bring some sheep back. We got fishing going down. And yeah, I, I like this top area. This is pretty nice here, guys. Two landmarks near each other. Yeah, it's pretty normal to build your first one close to your base. Because if you if you build your a landmark, I mean, unless you really want to go full Smeagol mode. Roofs aren't really good at that, though. Um, so I'd rather play a consolidated game. Okay, let's get you guys here. Near the boat. Grab the sheep. Continue exploring the island. And uh, this isn't even like an island. This is just like the middle of the map, basically. All right. So, yeah, I think we have our little, like, corner situation worked out. I'm probably just going to go fast castle this time around. That's what I'm thinking. Instead of 2TC. Although, I'm already on my way to 2TC. Yeah, we should just do it. It's so good. But with fishing, we should be uh, we should be cackling pretty hard. I won't tank your ratings in team games. Any Who are, are you talking to me? Oh, you're talking to Chris. Okay. I was like, I was like, we haven't played any team games. You've forsaken me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep this going. We need to uh, update this. Ah, we found the Mongols. All right, let's just have you scout the entire side of the map here, as we are the enjoyers of some river food. Grab a handful of you guys. Go jump on gold up here. 
Actually, we need the lumber for the second TC still. We'll slow, we'll slow down on the boats for a moment. Yeah, life's good. English free gold isn't too strong anymore. Yeah, it's not just that. It's the, it's the other civilization bonuses. The free gold isn't I, at a higher level going to be... The most high level games like don't go imp, right? Um, usually, you know, feudal or castle is more standard. So yeah, it, it's more just the other bonuses the civilization has and the units and... Yeah, it's, 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 they have really, really good units. Alright, so let's buy a little bit of this. Just need a little bit more stone now, and now we can do that, and we should be able to get a nice TC right here. Alright, let's go explore the top. I have some fun ideas, actually. I have some fun plans, so let's grab you guys, do this, and go up here. Oh, hello. Okay, we just ran through a base. Obviously, it's going to happen once we're exploring the great beyond. Yeah, the network is brutal. Like, English units are just better than yours. It's it's hard. It's definitely hard to stop. And I remember, like, feeling that. Like, I, I remember when I would play... I used to play a ton of ranked. I don't really play too much ranked nowadays. But, um... Like, I felt like I was beating players who I wasn't as good as. Like, I could feel their micro was better. Like... In me, like uh, just in many variables, they were stronger players than me, but I was still getting wins just because I was playing English. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely an experience. I remember quite fondly here. All right, so we'll set up a little tower there. I swear I don't know how to play Mongols. Okay, looks like oh, there is somebody up on this island after all. Okay, I wasn't sure. This poor scout, he wasn't destined to make it back. So red is trading, but I'm gonna be a homie to red. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna let Red kind of do his thing, just because his name is Otter or something, which is uh, Otters are a pretty cool creatures. So we'll we'll let him roll with it. I'm not gonna be the Grima Worm Tongue in the thumbnail. I can't bring myself to do it. All right. Okay, so we should probably be bounty hunting. I got to a decent amount and I just got kind of lazy. So. So what do we got here? Yeah, we got you across the river here. We're we're lumberjacking up this way. Yeah, pro scouts. Pro scouts can work in uh, in this format. Yeah, hundred percent. I have shoreline fishing though, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like feeling as if I don't need to invest in that tech. So we're just gonna go castle here and hopefully be able to get our clutches on some relics and things like that. Uh, so he did secure the river. Unfortunately, there are two relics on the other side, so we're gonna want to like break our way through there if we can. Okay. Sorry, Mongol brothers. What he says, it's funny. We do have a bunch of Mongols in this game, so it's not going to be easy. I've seen pro scouts getting used a little bit in higher level games. Red's trading. I don't know how much he's trading. But I want to go see who's up in the top corner here. It's probably Nanu. And then we got Ventus over this direction. The dreaded Ventus. Okay, so we don't even need to lumberjack this here anymore. Let's get on food. Get that. And now we just go castle. So this is a good lumberjack investment up here because it can lumberjack into the corner. Malians almost always go pro scouts these days. It makes sense because they're, they're, you know, a pretty versatile unit. The Dread Pirate Roberts is uh, aged up, so he is uh, staying true to his name here. Let's go find some pigs. Um, looking on the mini-map. Not seeing any wild hogs. I think I see one all the way down here. Yeah. Should probably take another roost night with him, though. All right. It's a hell of a lot on gold. So let's switch on to the food here. Uh, we can probably get pretty close to aging if I cancel... Let's go ahead and sell some of that, and sell some of that. And now we can go ahead and build... Um, I almost wanted to do high trade house here, guys, but... I'm going to build three landmarks main base. And then um, we can do you here. And then I'm going to do the rest. Or the other one, like, in a corner somewhere. That's my game plan. We'll do, like, this fast guy in the corner. Which is going to be a strong play, I think. How are we looking? Looking Okay. Shoreline fishing, going like the heathen kings of old. I didn't scout super well. Let's go get the boar now on the map. Get some free gold. Two roost knights should be enough. All right. All's good in the neighborhood. Two and three. And we can, of course, set up our... Uh, get our gold going again. Grab a little bit of stone. So middle sacred's been taken by Delhi. What the hell is this? Are we being attacked? Something. Oh, one of his scouts is attacking us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Teal's just chilling over there. Pretty sure he's just hanging out in the neighborhood. Okay. Let's grab this. 
heading down to the bottom. We should probably decap that so Delhi doesn't get too crazy. Delhi's actually much better now. Not as much of like a meme as they once were in FFA. Okay, so the shoreline fishing, I'm realizing it's very fickle here. It could be, it could, the gravy train could be cut off, so gotta, gotta respect that. All right, we can deal with the sacred later. Let's go get the boars first. All right, you guys jump here. We're still lumberjacking into the shadows, which is great. Don't think he's finished at the moment. I don't know what this con is doing. He's following me. I don't know why. What, you, you, you just want to do battle or something? The Roost Knights will definitely win that. Don't know why they're chasing. All right. That was strange. So let's just grab this. We got you out, and uh, let's go see if we can grab some relics, something, if we can get any. At least I'll know where the relics are, like who's going to have them. All right, so one down, and let's go for... Ooh, there's uh, more of a camp over here also. So now we just go fast Imperial. I think that's going to be the game plan here. Let's get some stables so we can produce a lot of units. If you don't care too much about attacking the anonymous forces here, I'm more here for the bounty. So the deer is just being hunted by these knights. All right. And, oh, he killed the boar. Okay, well... I don't want to draw the, the ire of like, it's like, you know, when you play Magic Commander, and like, you know, you kind of attack one player early and then they just like hate you for the rest of the game and do irrational plays against you. I don't want that right now. So I'm not going to just like attack his bills because his situation isn't that pertinent to me, considering he's on the other side of the map. Okay, so red's trading. It's not much. It's only like 30 a pop. Let's make some knights. Looking good. We could dive one of our neighbors here. How are we looking up top? Lumberjacking's going good. And let's uh, get some more lumber action here. I need to start setting up hunting cabins. I've been very, very forgetful of that this game. Okay, let's do you. 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 Should be a start. We're decapping both sacreds. Just to be a little bit of a team player here. Trying to help out the old community. Green getting real spicy over there. Yeah, he is. Hey, there's a boar there. So look at that. I knew there was a reason I stayed around here. I do want those relics across the river, but I don't think it's going to happen. Aye, 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 aye. That's a little bit scary. Let's go down here. I think the knight can solo the boar. Should be okay. Okay, outstanding. And you guys can now go uh, and work this uh, deer camp here. And you guys can head up and uh, go join the lumberjacking operation. Okay, we defeated the boar. Our bounty is pretty good now. We're supply blocked for a moment. Um, let's go see what aggression might look like on the other side. Yeah, the relics are across the river. I, I think I'm going to try and brute force across and see if I can grab them. I do have the three uh, warrior dudes, so hopefully they'll be ready to go. I just spent a lot of gold on those knights, so hopefully they'll pay off here. All right, keep keep lumberjacking into the deeps because that's we need we need that before we go imperial here. Hunting cabins are on the way. He's probably going to think I'm trying to kill him, but it looks like he does have the relics. So what civ is he? He is um. So he's teal. So teal is uh, Ottomans. We might be able to do something. The problem is he has Janissaries, so Janissaries kind of own me a little bit. They're very good against my army comp, so. Oh, your trade is pretty erect. I love it. I love it. All right, so we continue going into the deeps of the forest. Let's go see if we can get any relics. Take that down. Gather our forces. We got a lot of knights coming in. And do we have Boyar's Fortitude? We do not. We need to get that upgrade. It's really good. It just makes all our knights like super jacked. We do have the Saint's Blessing, though, which is good. Um, all right, so you were going to go build a hunting cabin here. And then we also would, should get hunting cabins in here while we have them. Okay, enemies recapturing Sacred Site. Let's go see if we can do, like, Grand Theft Relic on this, this gentleman's base. I would wager he's pretty jacked. He's just been sitting in, up here enjoying his best life. Let's sell some food. Go Imperial. Okay, let's go this way. Where, where is his empire of doom? 
We've got 93 eco at the moment. I think we have enough there. Let's just get back on gold. I know he's around here somewhere. All right. So he's got his, his little stone wall empire over here. Okay, cool. Now, Chad Skaya can... Do we want to put it like... Yeah, I guess we could do this and this. Delete those. And uh, we could make Chad Skaya like here. Yeah, and then that will like defend the... The breach, it's not the best spot, to be honest. Honestly, I, there's not really a whole lot of room here for a good wonder. It's fine. The relics will come. The relics will come in time. How's the river fishing going? Get some fishing upgrades. We don't really need to be here. New age has begun. All right, so let's get the night upgrades as soon as possible. We don't have any relics. We don't have any trade. There is trade here, though. We should probably secure that. So I think this is going to be fine. Two, three, four, five. And then you guys can then go after the gold over this direction. Pull back this way. Saving up a little bit of gold. Get the night upgrades. Do you have wooden palisades here for Ventus? All right, outstanding. So let's see if we could just secure some basic trade here. Okay, let's do that and set up a keep here. Instead of keep a little bit of a different position than that. All right, I think the fishing boats. Some of them are chilling. No, they're all still they're all still active. Outstanding. All right. Yeah, gold certain. We need it. We certainly need it. We got Chad Sky in the corner. The relics must flow. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're kind of like a bit of a like peasant here. All right. So let's go set up this keep here. Go see if we could do a little bit of raiding over here. I mean, our knights are not elite yet, but hopefully they will be soon. You can do some horse archers too while we're at it. I don't hate that idea. Okay, let's augment that. See what his eco looks like. Oh god, he's got he's got the proper elephants. I think we have the numbers to win here. Yeah, we can probably just surround and envelop. Yeah, I think so. Let's get a couple of you guys going up here. And cool. So the elephants are getting dragged down slowly but surely. Although, goddamn, those elephants are really good against Cav. You know, they said this is a game of counters, right? And those guys certainly did some work. All right, let's uh, ride into the base. Got a lot of keeps because he's playing Delhi. No surprises. And uh, how's the trade looking? Okay, let's get you guys all set up here. I'm just going to keep riding past and seeing if I can cause any disruption. I don't need to, like, kill him now, right? But, yeah, I need to get a, a feel for the base. Okay, he's got Tower of Victory. Wow, this, this base is, like, seriously jacked. All right. All right, we're in the farms. We found the vulnerability. We found the weakness in the uh, in the base here. Let's do that, and then get a uni going. Okay, so we'll go chill up there. Archers are moving. Let's see if we can pop these guys doing this. Probably get that Night Saber upgrade. All right, let's get the villagers. So we should be able to win this uh, conflict once we get some siege. Yes, he's losing a lot of eco. He's losing a fair amount of eco. I often wonder if the horse archers are like worth it. Kind of a fun idea. Okay, so we got to keep there. Bruce Knights, looks like a couple of them are still lurking back there. We don't have any relics, so that that is feel, pretty feels bad, you know. Okay, so you guys maybe uh, actually jump on stone. Let's get the banded beams and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Outstanding. And how's the shoreline fishing going? Yeah, we're going to have to switch to a land-based economy here. Well, no, this, this makes sense, though. It's a neighbor. Like, attacking someone across the map is a different situation than just going after a neighbor uh, who is an immediate threat to your empire. It's a very different dynamic. A very, very different dynamic, my friend. All right, so Chad Sky is still going. I mean, we could get Wonder back here at some point, but then they would just kill my landmark, so it's kind of pointless. Okay, so let's gather up. Looking good. Let's grab you guys. Go jump on some of these rocks up here. We got 39 on gold right now, which is pretty greedy. The fishing boats do have a great return on food. I have a really good return on food. Um, I should probably start walling my empire a little bit too, so I don't get like backdoored. Okay. 
And then, is there the reason why? Did he do something up here? Let's go check. Let's go check. All right, guys. The do hostening has come. Do. Do host. Yeah, look at this. Okay, clever, clever. Building the walls all up on my border. Okay, 13 bills. Let's get you guys here. Start building some farms. Get some food upgrades, because yeah, these we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, the Streltsy are really good. I'm building a bunch of them. I'm building a whole bunch of those guys. So we'll probably switch off horsemen here. Um, probably need to get some infrastructure. Optimize this a little bit too. It's easy to forget about that, you know. It's definitely easy to forget about it. So all is calm right now. He's probably he's probably thinking I'm Sauron has left the lands, but we'll be back. All right, so cool. Lumber should be back online. We have trade. How much are we actually getting from the trade, mind you? Ah, 57 a pop. It's it's decent. There's like further map trade down the map, but that's um that's too far. It's too far to get. Ventus is the new allied Trex. Yeah, I know. Just the one who always spawns next to me. I just have, I just use my 1v1 skills to kill one person, then I lose the FFA. That's that's my dreaded strategy of the gods. Okay, Where, how are we looking here? We're gonna need to support a big Ramstein economy here. The due hostening is, is coming. Okay, Streltsy on the way. And we have, oh, do I, I have 61 on wood right now, Jesus. It's kind of fun. We need to get farms anyway, so it's not a bad idea. Um, our military is dog shit. It's literally 50 supply. So let's, let's chill out on the wood thing a little bit, guys. I'm getting a little too crazy. All right, let's turn in here. There you go. All right, give me the wood, and uh, then we're we're good. Uh, our military was literally a potato. Okay, so let's do this. Grab you. I honestly have no idea what the current state of affairs is on the map. Let's see if the Rams can just clear these walls out. These annoying little palisades. I believe I have the Ram upgrade. I don't have biology yet. Not that I need it because I know he's like building those deli fonts. So. Get a cannon tower here. All right, guys. Where are you guys fighting? Rohan rides out. Wow, there's some exciting stuff going on elsewhere on the map. All right, so upgrades. Let's get the rams in there. It's time for the do hostening. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's dead yet either, Gravity. Yeah, it's very strange. Okay, so let's get the rams here. There's lazy control groups. I love it. All right. Let's go. So let's get horsemen. Let's get streltsy. Rams. Like, roosts just have such good wood economy. If they if roost does anything well, it's rams. I don't want to get burning oiled. So I'm just going to, like, try and take this down and then fight him. All right. So now we can fight a little bit from a distance. I think it's going to go down here. I think the Streltsy will mow down most of his army. Okay, so we're gonna take down the big boys. Looks like a couple of Vils running for it. Yeah, I mean. The Streltsy are pretty good here. Looks like he's going for the bombard or he's chopped. <laughs> I like how those villagers just like ran under like intense fire. They're like, we gotta chop those trees. They gotta go. All right, how are we doing here? Uh, I think we keep creeping down river and seeing what we can find. All right. Spears. Let's keep it up. The dreaded villagers. Let's move these guys up here. I love spamming rams. I think it's just my favorite thing. Hey, look at that. He's got two relics. All right. Uh, do I have any religious characters? I do not. Okay. So we need to get a couple of them ready to come jack those relics. Okay. So slow and steady progress. Okay, let's make some more rams. So everybody loves rams. And we'll get some uni upgrades soon. Our, our eco kind of sucks, honestly. I mean, it's not bad. It's just we don't have um, we don't have a good source of gold. Summon the elector rams. Dude, they're coming. They're coming for blood. All right. Oh, wow. He just got imperial. Okay, so he's pretty behind. Behind us, at least. Who needs, who needs, like, good siege equipment when you can just use these things, you know? Save your gold for other stuff. 
Okay, keep going. He's got some villagers torching away. Park some Trelty right here. All's calm over here on this side. Looks like people are just kind of doing some sim citying on their own. Okay, do we have uh, religious characters up in the hills? We do. Let's wait till we get a second one so we can grab them all at once. Okay, uh, let's get them upgrades for our baseline units. Okay, and then archers. We need to get archer upgrades too because I just want to start producing trash units basically. That keep should burn down. Okay, back you go. And we need to take this one out so I can grab the goodies. Okay, so the, the push definitely chilled out. We need like men at arms, like tanky units that can stand under fire and do their thing. I think we're still fishing in the river pretty effectively. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. Alright, so let's do this. Let's have you guys go Ramstein this down. And go for that. And let's get the religious characters, do a little grand theft. And uh, call it a day. Yeah, call it a day. Let's get army tactics while we're at it. We're going to start getting a lot of man at arms and things like that. So, do. <laughs> do us. <laughs> oh my god. That, I don't know why that song's so funny. There's something about it that's just like so ridiculous, you know? I don't even know, I don't know what they're saying in the song, obviously. Um, we need to, yeah. The upgrade Skull. All right, so let's go to the keep here. And now, oh, oh, we, we can't let those scholars run away with those relics. Go. Go forth, my minions. I feel like we're going back in time, man. The Grand Theft Relic was uh, was definitely one of the key strategies of the past that we used. Okay, um, let's do the speed upgrade, the spear upgrade. Sure. Our food economy kind of sucks. It is what it is. Does he have more relics? That's it. Okay. So we got both the relics, which is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it was close to the right amount. Let's get the food upgrades. Fishing is still going like a champ, but... No, Age of Empires is not as cheesy as Company of Heroes. Is that what you're asking, chat? Yeah, no. This is... There's going to be... I'm going to have to go after Teal next. I'm not going to be peaceful this game. There will be blood. Okay, so... Yeah, I think this is the last landmark. Did I miss one? Oh, he built a landmark somewhere else. He's, he's trolling. Not trolling, but, you know, trying to pull a Smeagol and survive. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think there's some funny business going on like that. All right, biology, chemistry. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's got something, something else going on here. All right, Rams, get in there. Let's get some knights. Let's get some spearmen in there, some archers. And we can just keep setting up the food eco. Gonna keep there just in case we get backdoored by something. And um, let's go ahead and do this. Outstanding. All right. So enemy destroyed books landmark. So it looks like there are a couple players who are in trouble. Yeah, Teal's gonna be strong, 100%. But you know, it's fine. I mean, any everyone can be strong. At least we'll be ready for it this time. I mean, it's a more open map. I mean, I, it, this river is very, very possible to ford. So we can we can definitely get across that river. Man, yeah, our food needs help though. Okay, let's get those like full upgrades going. And you guys keep going here. So we got this like nice little corner. We could do like a wonder right here or even like right back there. The problem is our other landmarks are vulnerable, so. Okay. Do that. And do this. Let's get the old Rams getting in there. Wow, he's actually mustering a defense. I wonder where, where he's got the rest of his eco hanging out. Our food eco should pop off now, though. Once we get all these like farms set up and everything, I think we're good. Uh, let's come to the middle and grab some of that. We do have our keep, so it looks like somebody's like farming in the middle quite happily. And the rams were shut down. All right, so time for more Duhast. So we need that. And uh, we can actually build like a couple cannons as well. The compound of the defender? Yeah, it's back here. Is, is that his fourth landmark? That's tower... tower Compound TC. Yeah, no, he's hiding. A, he's hiding a landmark somewhere. We're gonna kill the compound, guys. It's gonna happen. It's just. I was fairly certain it wasn't his last landmark there. Oh, Delhi's in the middle. Okay, that's where they're hanging out. Okay. Okay, so we drop the relics off. We can get tithe barns now, and let's come to the middle and grab some sacred sites. Do that. 
I'm pretty sure he's got another more landmarks than that, but we'll find. I'm I think he's hiding him in the middle behind all these keeps. It's crazy how many keeps Deli can build. All right, so where's our Duhast? Is it coming? We need to set up a gatehouse here for the boys. Glorious hidden landmarks. Yeah, it looks like Eonimus is dying. We need to go ahead and get some more blacksmith upgrades. Finish off our army here. We got 38 dudes chilling. Do we have any gold we can grab? I believe so. And the Trebs here and some Rams should be able to clear those keeps. No problem. All right, so how are we looking here? Yep, we got the Rams. So we'll finish off this base here. Grabbing the Sacred and... Oh, hello. Hello, my sweet prince. So let's let the Rams continue on. And we come back and see what we can do here. So we might have another fight on our hands, unfortunately. For 50 gold. He's like, he's like, orange is trading. As he just like attacks my base. I love it. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's set you up like so. Check that farm eco. Gather up here. It's going to be a hard hold, actually. We'll have to see how this goes. I didn't think Teal would be this aggressive. Uh, mostly mounted arms and, and yeah, okay. Okay, let's, let's attack, see if we can salvage the guys. If we could push back this attack here, I think we're okay. Alright boys, let's gather up. Keeps are in position. Let's repair it, and uh, then we'll garrison here, losing some villagers, but nothing we can't replenish. Keeps up, let's garrison. Let's dive the, uh, the siege in the back. One, two, three, and four. And how are we looking in the middle? Okay. Not the prettiest, but, you know. We got, like, wars on a couple of fronts here, so we got to be very, very aware of all that. All right, so we fold his army. And now we just push him off the landmass here. We'll get our, uh, our rams, some bombards. Yes. And it looks like there's some trolls in the back raiding. Let's go up there and hunt them down. Cool. So now we need to gather our forces and start doing battle here before he can really establish a beachhead. Not that I don't I think we can take it, although he's he's playing Delhi, right? Yeah, so it's not the worst in the world. Unfortunately, I could be dragged into a war on two fronts, because we didn't quite get a chance to finish off uh, pink as we were attacked. Okay, so we'll restock the farms. We'll move down here with everything. Okay, you guys uh, hammering the keep. Okay, this is Ottomans. So Ottomans are definitely definitely a bit of a threat. They have good late game power. Um, we need to get some dudes to build some walls here so we don't get raided. Okay, let's do that. And then we do this. That should thwart that for now. We need more stables. 100% need more stables. Okay, almost got the keep down. Ottomans will be pushed back across the river. I like the feeble, the feeble attempt at politics. Like, he's trading. <laughs> Delhi coming with some scholars here, dude. Look at that. They're sprinting across. Maybe they, they know where some fallen relics are or something, huh? Okay, let's get this great bombard. Drive them back to the river! Yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. If we can get these great bombards, that's going to be a pretty nice pick. Okay, gold is going for us, but we're going to run out of gold here somewhat quickly. Um, did we ever get the walls being built here? Okay, for some reason they didn't. So let's grab you guys and do this. And uh, we can now push back across the river here. Got rams coming. Looks like Delhi's trying to set up shop in the middle. Uh, let's just build rams. They literally are just like so, so cost effective for us here. Okay, we need to get those great bombards. That would be a really, really nice, uh, nice catch for us. Okay, so take down the gate. Make spears, because he's making Sipa here. Oh man, look at the splash damage on those things. Pretty crazy, huh? Alright, so just more units into the old meat grinder. We're probably going to have to call like a little bit of a calm in a moment here. So nice, we're getting some decent shots here. I'm also going to jump on top of them. Let's get you guys to jump on these Janissaries. But yeah, food's getting a little bit, da a little bit uh, scary here. So we're going to need to rebuild. I don't want to be dragged into like a really nasty long war. 
that um because i don't have a good food surplus so i i don't know if i can actually like finish the job but at least we at least we force like an ugly trade of sorts the deli is probably going to be able to rebuild but teal is always going to be a threat over here uh the warhammer model website i was looking at was called Tr the troll trader it's really good it's really really solid okay how are the rams doing here See, Delhi's got an army back, man. They're they're all business. Okay, we should probably set up another keep here. So we just like sweep off this like attack infrastructure. Come down here to protect this. Um, Delhi is kind of at the back gates a little bit. All right. So are we gonna get attacked by Delhi? I don't know, man. I don't know. The Ottomans have been have been tamed for now. But I don't know how long that's going to last for. Looks like there's some, some salt being being flown in chat. I get it. I get, yeah, everyone gets salty, including myself. That is for sure. I don't know what's going on with game chat. I've been so focused on these little trades that I'm like kind of out of the loop here. Like I know I should keep pushing teal, but I also don't want to overextend when I don't have good gold. And I think securing the gold trade is going to be more important first. Okay, so let's grab all our military, gather up here, and uh, we're going to try and push Delhi out of the middle because there's a lot of resources there, so we need it. We needs it, precious. Um, on top of that, let's grab you guys. We can set up a keep here, although I honestly feel like just setting up annoying towers is better because if they die, it's not like we're losing stone, which is like a super precious resource. Okay, so we push Teal back, which is good. Yeah, our towers are basically just trading with one another. Hear that? How are we looking here? Looking good. I believe our food economy is back online in a in a healthy way. Oh man, there's like gold is just becoming so sparse, guys. We'll just go like slay these berry bushes and deer until we can um until we're good to go. Yeah, we should probably get traps here. Let's uh, build them right here. All right, so. We're in okay shape. I didn't try D4, but I will when it launches. I actually, uh, you know, I'm trying to be more optimistic as I get a little bit older and not not just write things off right away. I know Blizzard has had a track record of sucking pretty bad, but um, in the past, you know, handful of years, but I'm gonna give it a try and uh, hopefully it'll be good. How many uh, civs in AOE4 at the moment? I don't know, somebody, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I mean, I could just count them out loud and figure it out, but you know, math is not my strong suit. All right, so let's go ahead and get some hunting cabins um, here. And we can do one over here. It looks like we got all the hunting cabin action we can get here and here and here and here. All right, so we're calm now. Uh, what do I, I don't have enough stable production. That's one thing that's kind of lacking here. So we'll eventually get those stables up. It's going to take a hot minute. Oh, hello. Okay, well, you know, I was looking for an excuse to fight. Now we have one, so. Okay, and let's make some spearmen. Damn, our wood is, like, really bad right now. That's what she said. Okay, Delhi's actually formidable. They have some elephants back there and other scary stuff. Okay, let's uh, hit the keep, keep, and keep. Don't want to chase into the burning well. That's what he would want. Okay, uh, we actually need wood more than anything. Okay, so one keeps about to go down. Yeah, see, this is his last landmark. Well, I knew he was hiding one. It made sense. Okay, and let's make Streltsy. And we can make Roost Knights because we have an excess of gold at the moment. Yeah, winning this, I mean, this overall, like, little skirmish would be good, though, because we could get, um... Is he repairing that? I think he is. Okay, the reinforcements should be down soon. We don't have the best supply lines, but I, I'm short on wood, so I can't really, like, afford to rebuild a supply line. Okay, this keep needs to be repaired. Let's get some bills. Let's repair it. We need that to hold down. Uh, do we have elite horsemen? We do. Okay, let's gather you guys back. If we could just knock down the keeps, we're chilling. Oh my god, what is with this? He is he has just got a full rock hard chub for for these fights. Uh, I could I could just chill out with Delhi, honestly. 
Although, oh man, it's hard. Jelly can definitely just come and backstab me here. That's why you build those like shitty wooden towers. Our eco is way too big. And uh, let's get some view. See if they want to come across the river here. Bombards are, are singing though. We might be forced back. I can't fight on two fronts. I'm not like, I'm not a super powerful Civ. So this is going to be tough with uh, the Ottomans just fully erect with great bombards and shit coming here. So we definitely fall back from this position. And uh, we just got to go defend this gold for as long as we can and basically become hermits. Until, um... Uh... It's not you, I am fighting Ventus. <laughs> He's isolated, I'm holding back turret. It's, 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 the, it's the Dread Ottomans to the west. Yeah, let's knock all these down. Yeah, so he can, he can have his fun with this now. There's nothing I can do about it. Gotta watch. Mordor lies to the east. I wonder, yeah, like he, it, he says sure. Yeah, this is, this is, this is something. We, I mean, I, I, if we could put our full effort into Delhi, we would definitely steamroll them, but we can't. We gotta watch this. Caught in between two blood feuds, I know. Well, this blood feud, I don't under, well, he's just trying to kill his neighbor. That makes sense. We have to just like, we have a corner position. So the big advantage of that is that, um, we can just like endure and folks will, you know, folks will, uh, you know, kill one another on the other spots. We have one sacred site too, which is nice. Delhi's in the middle. And oh, okay, looks like, yeah, we're getting a little bit of lumber here. We're not like, yeah, people are starting to run out of gold. Okay, let's pull you back. I don't know if I could actually win this. I don't. With the great bombards and a choke point, we can have a little bit of a standoff here. You know what would be really funny would be to upgrade boats. Like get boat upgrades and like like just roll up on the river with a bunch of combat bombard ships. Wait, are just killing yellow out... Okay, he's speaking some broken English there. I'm not sure what was trying to be communicated. I've been too busy. Okay, he's, he's talking about being busy against me. Oh no, look at that. He's got cannon towers on the river and shit. Dude, look at this man. All right, let's get you up here. Go shell the hell out of that. Let's do that, and uh, then we can set up a gatehouse after. Treb's going, and up on the top. Yeah, we have the uh, we have the mass bounty, which is nice. I'm just going to accumulate a lot of food and just try and chill out there. 120 versus 80. It's a reasonably balanced. I will be a force of good when there is a wonder. Trust me. <laughs> it's trying to. I think someone's like trying to negotiate for their life there. All right, so let's knock down these cannon emplacements across the river. It's a shame all that gold is is just into the wind. You know, I'm not gonna not gonna have any chances of getting it here. Yeah, let's see if we can nail this. I really wanted to get that like haggard combat ship thing. That'd be really funny. Cause I have all these like fishing boats. I mean, they're still bringing in some food, I think. But yeah, we would make them into attack ships. Just sail up river and become the corsair lord of Umbar. Oh man. Okay, red is dead. Wow. The Ottomans are still here, so we know they're they're having some fun. Yes, flee. <laughs> All right, so the dreaded otter has fallen. We're going to get this. Um, walls are being built. Building keeps is kind of pointless, I feel, because they're just going to get knocked down by auto bombards. <sighs> uh, Delhi is on the way. Oh, man, okay. This is a little bit scary. It's fine. Delhi can take this if they want to. We got to pull back. So let's grab you guys, set up another keep. Can we set one up in here? Yeah, great. I am just gonna play defensive. Delhi really wants it. Oh, man, I would love to get, get the last of this gold though. That 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 will fight for if he comes for it. We got a lot of keeps inside the base, so if he wants to push, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, he does have like one bombard cannon. So he can knock down this stuff, no problem. Just give me the gold, that's all I'm here for. Do we have any? We have 31 Strelzi in this army, so we, we would definitely win this fight. Let's go just take these elephants down. 
Okay, let's do this. Go dive the uh, bombard cannons. Great, so Streltsy just wrecked those elephants. Yes, give me the artillery, precious. <laughs> Streltsy just last time running these things. All right, cool. So we got our prize. I don't know if you, how effective body blocking is in this game. I guess it kind of works. Yeah, the Delhi army is pretty easy to deal with with Streltsy. They just counter all that shit. Assault and Elephants will get Last Samurai too. You can see the Streltsy's have already just immediately killed two of them. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, as soon as I leave, this guy attacks. The treacherous one, the Grima. Okay. Let's gather up our forces. So we push back the Delhi. We have 20 villagers here. So let's just purge this wood line. Purge the wood line by fire. And did we get the dock? We did. All right, so now let's start on some upgrades. Um, yeah, yeah. We have you. We'll knock down gates here. Strelts here are pretty chad. Thankfully we got the sacred site. Um, probably honestly do need to keep that going. Oh, okay, we can fight here in this little choke. Okay, he retreats. The bravest Ottoman. When I, when I fight someone else, he, he attacks. Otherwise, he hides in the shadows. Okay, so this will be kind of a funny little thing if I'm able to pull that off. What? So we got a lot of villagers here. Um, let's go reman the farms and see how we're looking. You guys have finished purging the wood in these lands. I could go right into the back of Jelly's base and hit their farms, which would maybe be an option. Oh, boy. All right, so down here, looks like he's coming for my boats, which we can just Corsair Lord down the river. So we know he's back. Let's uh, just hit these and then this. <laughs> just big Jan Janissaries aren't as good as um, the men at arms. Or excuse me, the uh, Streltsy and Lake him. I mean, they're, they're more specialist against like cav units, right? All right, so we're going to set up the wall here. And we're just going to go start killing some of these bills. We need to wait for... The Ottomans to get busy with like someone else. So then we can go back and finish off Delhi. Finish what we started. Okay, so a little bit of raiding. Take down the cannon tower here. Hey, there we go. Alright. Nice. So that's gonna be a handful of villager kills. Yeah, nice, nice. There we go. Okay. So maybe just maybe they're they're chilling now. Okay, he's trying to build some palisades, but he's gonna lose like a ton of villagers during all that. Yeah, I can just punch through those. Ooh, man, he just lost like 40 villagers. I would wager that it's not a huge deal. Okay, so let's uh, start pushing the Delhi Keeps again. 44 of you guys. Let's jump on that. That was pretty good damage. So now we're kind of playing from a couple fronts here. And just to slow down the Ottomans, we build like a ton of towers here. And we don't do anything with them. It's just basically a distraction. Um, all right, let's go fishing. No gold right now, though, guys. We got to be very careful with our resources. Probably just Relti. Let's get back to the farms. The artillery corps can move up. Okay, I love when they do that. And they just go after a tree instead. Okay, so we're moving up. We have to seek vengeance for those who have wronged us. Okay, so let's fight. Ooh, that's a lot of elephants. He might actually win this one. He's got a good critical mass there. Uh-huh, and, uh... Yeah, we probably focus down the tower elephants if we can. So, yeah, keep focusing down the tower elephants, the sultan ones. Focus down the sultan elephants. I think we got most of them. All right, so let's just gather up a full stack now and then continue the, par the party. The autos seem to be busy with something else. We'll make some horsemen just to dive. Cool, so yeah, he's only got one tower uh, assault and elephant left. And his farms back here are getting punished. Okay, do we want to make rams or... Hmm, let's make rams. Save. We need to save every, every morsel of gold that we can. Aim for the heads! Yeah, the, we're trying to take down the Mumakil. Definitely a lot of damage going down here. In the back, the old back of the base, and now we got some mangoes that I think I queued up ten years ago. 
couple of random Mongol horsemen hanging out here. So let's just torch down houses back here. Can potentially supply block our opponent if he's not careful. Okay. Oh, ooh, the marketplace. Uh, yeah, we could delete that. Sure, why not? What's going on up here in the hills? Okay, I think we're not fully secured here, unfortunately. So let's uh, come back here and then build this. Make sure we're on the right side. Oh, hello. I just moved my whole army into a bunch of keeps. Gotta love it. The big plays. The MLG plays. Yeah, he's got the anti-cab uh, elephants. We just torch houses down. Probably will supply block him. I don't know about his wood situation. Is there any wood left? Man, we are getting uh, getting danger danger close here. Yeah, well, like, I just keep getting Roos. Like, every game. I'm not picking him. It's random. Uh, a couple random spring alt towers here, so we just make some springs just to keep it honest. I don't know why they keep doing that. Oh, it's because I'm selecting using the, the select all army. Yeah. Okay. Fair play. Hunting cabin getting taken out. You guys can go jump here. Delhi trying to set up some towers here. I don't really have like proper siege equipment though. Um, I'm at 136. Jeez, I need to chill the hell out on that. All right, so now we should have some rams coming. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit better here. So Delhi coming back. Let's just run to the edge and see if we can get favorable trades. Our cav are way better than Delhi cav. Keep torching houses. Gather the Dread Legions. We just have to watch out for Ottoman aggression. Just being kind of annoying here. Alright boys, let's see if they can win. Looks like they can. Oh, it's tricky. Tricky kind of balancing this like multi-pronged fight here. Just the threat of, uh, of someone else coming at me. Okay, Rams and Bombards are coming, so that should be enough. Looks like we defeated those guys back there. I think, yeah, the Roost Knights will 100% win that. So they're they're mustering, but it's like hard to tell how serious they are. I'll set up a keep here to be safe. We got the Bombards coming down and the Rams, which will be excellent. The Chad Roost Knights able to get it. Oh, there's, there's actually a bunch of horsemen mixed in there. Yeah, so the hunting cabin uh, thing doesn't change based on the trees it, it, or it like even when the trees are gone it's based on what you built when you first laid it down come to me precious all right so let's uh, get you to go here and here the rest of you guys move up and see what his armies are made of i would imagine he's probably got spring alts so gathering up you need to just get these haggard deli keeps down. I don't even know. I'm still getting gold, honestly. Okay, yeah, his army's pretty small. I think I think the attrition is taking its toll. Oh man, those elephants get wrecked pretty bad. Let's go for this. Keep taking him down. Dive that piece. Oh my god, we just can't get that that damn that damn keep down. All right, so one down. Let's keep up on this. The Strelsey just absolute raid bosses. If he attacks me right now, I'd be very shocked. Unless he's got some scout that I don't know about that's like sees when I'm moving in on the deli. We still have these trolls torching his base back here. What the hell is this? Who are these guys? Is that the Dread Pirate Roberts? Just shows up and starts helping out Delhi. <laughs> what is this treachery, dude? All right. We never upgraded our archers. Wow, what a potato I am. Yeah, the bombard cannons are doing the work, though. Now we're gonna have to get into the old Delhi base and deal with his other stuff. Let's gather up. Archer upgrade should be coming along. Uh, crossbows, we don't need that. We just use Chelsea. Okay, Teal looks like he wanted some, but. Okay, so gather up on the Bombards, intercept the Horsemen. Streltsy are just so good, man. They're such a great unit. Okay, let's just start hammering this landmark down. Alright, get on top of it and fight. Should kill those men-at-arms pretty quickly. And the Rams are useful too, because you could just like throw them into the buildings and not really care if they go down. 
I, I bet you he repaired all that stuff. The, the one roost night back there is still causing some havoc as well. So, on the bright side, we know where all his landmarks are. We know we know what lies in the deeps. Turn <laughs> Pilgrim versus the world. Kind of feels like that a little bit. Okay, keep the rams going. Let's pull him back and then give a new attack order here in a second. I think my archers were literally potato age. I'm trying to circle around, being real cheeky. I like it. Strelzi are not taking any prisoners, though. Hey, look at the ram sign at the top of the base. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's just rams, though, so I should be able to pull villagers and torch them. None of that's going to work, so we got to just torch. Okay, Jelly is officially being pushed back. They still have a lot of keeps, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of ramps. All right, so let's send some horsemen up there. Okay, so that should deal with that. And then we can keep this army fighting here. And let's get the bombard cannon to uh, keep shooting into the keeps. Yeah, there we go. It's going to take a hot minute, but we'll get some horsemen and we have bombards of our own. Yeah, they should get it. Excellent. Okay, so I'm not sure where he's going. Maybe first fast guy in the corner. So let's uh, re-secure this to prevent further trolling. Giving me a taste of my own duhastening. Okay, so let's make some bombards here. Looks like he's got a decent little army gathering, so let's gather up. Yeah, looks like he's going to kill a couple lumber mills, but that's pretty much it. And we can... Uh, I, I, I thought it was going to be more. I thought there would be like 10 waves of rams coming out and we were going to have a mortal combat. Yellow, yellow has settled up in the hills. Look at that! Holy shit! We have a Mongol, uh, a Mongol neighbor living in the. Okay, we gotta, we gotta chill out though. You see, every time I'm about to kill him, the the haggard, uh, the haggard legions attack me here. So we have to defend now against this. Just fine. We'll, uh, we'll be ready for it. Let's go ahead and just clear out all this wood here. He's probably, he's probably wondering who his guardian angel is. Okay, so you see, this is why you build these shithouse towers. It's just like... Yeah, they just they just absorb the shots. So once again, we have to push them back. It's going to be kind of annoying here, but we will get it. Let's go, loose formation. It's got a lot of springs, but not a lot of things that are actually good against uh, like buildings. Alright, you just blast away. Oh, I was I was wondering when the big artillery would come, when the real army would arrive. Make me an army worthy of Mordor. All right, do we want to make some spring alts? Probably not a bad idea. Hey, we took that down. Let's see if we could get this now. Pull back, gather up the boys. So they're going to be in my base here in a second. We got to be careful. The Mongols. I don't think they're going to do anything, but it's something we need to be uh, privy of. All right, so let's have you uh, start sniping all these. Thank you very much. Do this. And uh, do I have any bills? I do. Okay, so we need to um, we need to go build the tower here. All right. So yeah, once again, probably gonna push back this attack. But uh, it's it keeps me from killing Delhi, so it's saving Delhi. I don't know if he knows he's doing that. All right. So let's go here. Do this. This and this. All right, outstanding. And did we get the other one? No, he didn't. He managed to weasel away with that. Hmm. Okay, spearmen coming. Get you guys on wood. And uh, all right, so now we just need to slow this down. Ventus is rallying people against me. Do I not have in-game chat? Why are you attacking me, Yellow? <laughs> why? Wait, why is he? Why are they attacking me? They they just assume I'm a threat. I, I don't know why. It's weird. It's fine. We'll just continue. Uh, I am not strong. Here, I'll, I'll defend myself. There you go. You guys want some politics? Miss Micro. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep pushing these guys back. 
gonna dive the horsemen back and get you guys going. And uh, let's see how long they can uh, they can do this for. All right, so we need to get springs to move up and target all these. Wonder? Did somebody build a wonder? Did I miss that? I don't know if I missed a wonder. We'll see. Okay, so we'll, we'll definitely just try and kill that TC real quick. Force them back. So once again, we push the gremlins back to the shadows. And Delhi is here. Yeah, I have no gold. I have zero gold. I am not a threat. And I'm actually being factual here. I like truthful. I don't. I don't have any. I don't have anything. Yeah, let's bombard this town. Okay, let's go build some walls here to make sure the gremlins don't come back in with their horsemen. I only have the gold I saved early game. Okay, let's uh, do load the attack ships and attack ships. It'd be nice to have some Corsair Lords to play the river a little bit. Okay, so how many times do we have to beat down the Ottomans here? Yeah, looks like... We got that going. We got the wall set up again. Purple's gonna go for a wonder, which... Most likely is gonna be the case, yeah. Yeah, the Dread Pirate Wonder Bot. Where is he building it? Bottom? Wonder bot. Good call attacking me, guys. <laughs> yeah. That was that was a good call, alright. Alright, so we got we got our schemes. We're gonna help because <laughs> You live in my base. <laughs> you live in my base. <laughs> He's like, you're attacking me? Oh my god. That's so funny. All right. So let's set these walls up. <laughs> He's like, that's my favorite. No, I have zero gold income. Look, that's that's what I was talking about. I wish. Okay, so we're gonna move up here, and uh, we're gonna try and get transport ships, but I can't do it while that thing is active. I don't think I could bombard it, because um, me getting down river is gonna be. Extremely difficult. Um, so how do we do this? So we'll finish bombarding this. Let's grab you guys. And uh, what we need to do now is move across. And uh, yeah, so the other players need to do something here. Because I am in the worst position to attack him. Granted, I'm going to contribute for sure. All right, so let's make you guys into transport ships. And then we load up a, a force, which we have here, and we take some villagers and all that good stuff. And we'll also keep clearing this this riffraff out here. Okay, so I don't know how we're going to get down there, man. It's going to be hard. Okay, let's load up. And let's load up. Getting all these. Not with Trebs? Okay. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get to that, dude. It's so far from the coastline, but it's the only way I can get there. That's the downside of crying wolf in a, in a way that's not true too, though. Like if you if you convince everybody that somebody's a threat, but they're actually not, then a real threat will emerge somewhere else, rather than assessing it um, accurately. Okay, can we load in more? Let's load up. All right, this is what we got. So we're gonna sail down river, and hopefully we don't get cannoned. It's probably gonna what's gonna happen. We need the one with villagers to to. To try and get by here. Okay, thankfully our empty ship is eating the shots like a champ. Okay, heading to the south. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. I don't know if we're gonna how we're gonna be able to get in there. It ain't gonna be easy. An HRE Wonder? I don't think anybody... Has anyone been uh, fighting Perp this game? I don't think anybody's been fighting him. Let's uh, double check and see. Uh, Red is not in the game anymore, so this is probably as good of a spot as it's going to get. He killed, he killed Otter, okay. Okay, let's get these Haggard Boats back, do this, and then we take the Legion. 
And we need to keep these boats just in case. Okay, so he killed Red. Red was and died. Okay, so it's just Red. Got it. Okay, let's do this. Siege workshops are... I want to get as close as possible with the villagers. He's got a nice little outpost here. Good play by Dread Pirate. I love that. Alright, so we're moving down, guys. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of choke points, I think. He's got relics, keeps. It's going to take a ton of effort, but hopefully uh, hopefully the alliances are, are form being formed. So we're just going to build, like, a siege workshop and then build, like, 500 battering rams, basically. Okay, let's keep moving. We brought the tools to set up a beachhead. Some Ottoman trade going. <laughs> so close to killing Delhi. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go right ahead and see like what the actual landmark landscape looks like. We'll build a... Okay, here we go. So this is basically the start of the empire here. Okay, let's go up here. Build a keep here to make sure we don't get pushed out easily. And uh, let's take these bills. And now we're here. Alright, so this is where we set up our beachhead. Which is mainly just going to be ram spam. Because I think that's, like, effective. While the other players do work, I just keep pushing with rams. And, you know, I'll, I'll bring the siege. So how long do we have? 10 minutes? Okay, the fact that we got a, like, a set up beachhead within the 10 minute mark is pretty good. Okay, so let's support you guys. Take down the towers here. Okay, we took that down. Knock this down. You can see how slow it is to get through here. Okay, we need to protect our stuff. Even if it is an accident from Teal. Okay. So he cleared out his little lumber alcove, and now we have a spot. Oh, man, the Trebs are... Oh, is there a mountain there? Oh, this must be the only way through, huh? Hmm. This must be the only way through. Yeah, I'm not sure. So that's fine. We're going to lose our keep, but... I just wanted to build rams. It's all we're, it's all we're trying to do, guys. Okay, so knocking a hole in the wall. Pull you down here. Try and protect these. Yeah, so I think this might be the only way. So we have to share this mountain pass, or I can go up and around the top here, which is probably good. So I, I breached the wall for him. So now we can move up to the top, and let's start making rams where we can. Eonimus left the match. Eonimus was what color? Yellow? Okay, yellow, the, gr the gremlin, who, who decided to move into my base and say I was attacking them. <laughs> I love it. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get rams going and just push. So Teal, you can push there. I can push somewhere else. How much trade do we got? Oh my God, who is letting this person trade for him? They thought I was a threat. Homeboy here is trading for 130 in the middle of the map and nobody did anything. That's crazy. All right, so let's just keep moving in a groove in. And I'll attack from this side. All right, so let's knock down these walls. Cut off his gravy train of trade. Let's get the do host. Yeah, we're going to have to build maybe like Spearman 2 here, I think. All right, so that's probably enough. He's coming to try and take some of the siege down here. But we will be ready for it. Almost in. Traders are still being shut down, so hopefully that'll help shut down some of the trade. The rams are on the way, so let's get the rams in. If he's making any archers, they won't be able to do much about the rams, which is good. Okay, let's pull you over here. Set up a little keep. Alright, good. So what does he have here? Land snakes? Ooh, yeah, okay, we're not going to get that keep set up over there, that's for damn sure. Hopefully somebody else will arrive soon with some actual units. Because my, my standing army here is pretty uh, pretty haggard. I had to come from across the map. Is anyone else here? I feel like they're not. I could be wrong. But I have this strange feeling that I'm the only one here at the moment. Okay, De Delhi is arriving. Good, 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 good. That's, that's what I like to see. Let's keep making rams. Because once his armies get busy with other players, the Duhas can come. Okay, we need to distract him with the Rams for a second longer while we get this keep up. Alright. 
Okay, so let's garrison you guys. Just run the rams in circles. And then we set up some actual uh, non-siege infrastructure. The rams are just like tanking while, while we... Uh... Alright, let's move into the base. And let's just like charge it. Let's just go straight back there if we can. He's, uh, he's here. I don't know. His army is here. You guys attack. Or at least part of his army. It's not his... Maybe not whole army. We produce rams faster than he can kill them. <laughs> the rams are just luring them to the burning oil. Alright, so let's just go for it. Let's just move in it and groove it. Pull you guys back, and now we need to get some, uh, we can get, what do we, what kind of units do we want to get? Now we need to get back in there. Yeah, villagers, you get back in the old keep. There you go, alright. So rams, let's get them in. Keep producing these bad boys. This is our contribution, although somebody else needs to deal with his army. Okay, are these, are we going to get through these guys eventually? I think we are. we got to spring golden placement. Trying to find an opening, guys. Yeah, other, there's going to be some other wonder plays for sure after uh, after this goes down. I mean, I could do one myself too. I could just buy my way to one. Easy. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea. Okay, so the, the Rams are trying to get into the base. But he's got a lot of stuff to stop it. So now um, we probably need to make Streltsy. That's what I'm thinking, like something that can deal with these HRE men at arms. So let's get that set up. I could start destroying infrastructure. Oh, look, it uh, looks like the wonder's gonna die. Wow. Alright, so that has been averted, so let's just save all this wood. Enemy destroyed the Dread Pirates, Robert Wonder. Okay. So we ram him a little bit. We we did our part, you know, we were we were a uh, distraction card effects of sorts. So we'll use the last of these rams to just, you know, have a little bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we could totally do something ourselves if we wanted to. That. But, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I don't have the tools to defend myself. I'm not entrenched. Nothing like this. So we just got to keep playing the long game, I think, and get some sort of gold sustained going again. All right, let's get trade going here. Man, somebody snuck back there and got it. These poor villagers are running back north. All right, so we got some berry bushes. Let's go clean those out. Wood's going to become pretty tight here soon. Yeah, we'll just keep ramming shit. Okay, let's resecure all our hotkey groups like we had them before. And uh, we can just make a standing army here. All right, that's a decent little army. Ram's still pushing, but he's he's going to be uh, he's going to be kind of behind here. Um, let's turn these into attack ships again. And uh, what kind of trade are we seeing? It's, it's 50 a pop. Okay. The haggard roost trade of the gods. Uh, looks like it's a big opening here. Can we not? I hate when it lags when you try and build walls. It's so annoying. Here we go. So we got attack ships here. Back to our old ways. Could ram down this little position. It looks like the last of the rams have done their part. Yeah, yeah, Lado, Lado's probably pretty strong. He's a good, he's he's an FFA vet for sure. Um, I feel like I'm missing upgrades. I probably am, that would be really bad. Yeah, just classic, just missing a couple key upgrades. Hmm. So we have our little siege outpost, which is nice. In case we ever need to go down there again, it's uh, at the ready. So we have no more wall bandits. I have no stone, by the way, to trade, no chance to win. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Let's go set that up. The old tithe barn's coming in clutch. So I'm just, my little Corsair fleet, the Pirate Lord is taking over the river. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to take over the river, but I certainly don't feel like I'm in charge of anything. All right, so let's go here. Set up some more of these towers in case we get attacked from there again. Uh, let's grab that sacred site. I know he's got relics. He's got at least two. Delhi's here. Um, I don't see another wonder happening from the HRE since they probably used most of stone on the map. So Delhi is not 
Delhi's gonna would beat me with conquest, not with um, wonder probably. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, we can probably get a little bit, squeeze a little bit more money out here. So let's do that. And get the home market set up there. We have our Corsair fleet, so let's just have them patrol the river so we can do this. Man the sails. They can literally just patrol the rivers and bombard everything that they come across. Okay, is there any more wood? Like to set up this so nobody else can get it. The Corsair Lords raiding the enemy shores. I knew upgrading those ships would be worth it. I knew it would. Let's get double time. I just love that I forgot to get some like key upgrades here. All right, so control shift A, let's get our traders. And when this market's set up, we'll do that. Oh uh, yeah, multiple markets is just to mass produce traders faster. There is a trade trick, but I don't like doing it. It's stupid, it shouldn't be in the game. All right, all right, so let's grab you guys, do that. See what kind of money we can get. It's the. It should be slightly better. Not by much, but. Jeez. The dreaded keep here. He's got a spring all sitting on the river. I don't know if we can actually like reach this. No, we're not going to be able to. All right. All right, guys. So it's all calm now. Um, Delhi is trading. I don't know how much they're getting. 116, yeah, we need to stop that. Because he, he could he could start beating me, 100%. Set up another keep here. Secure the trade for ourselves. See what that looks like. Um, and now it's 104. Okay, that's, that's definitely better. So now we just accumulate wealth. Uh, economy's 122. There's literally no resources around the map. Like, wood is starting to run out, even. Let's go see if we can get some wood from this side. This keep has just been battling this Corsair ship. Alright, so we're gonna go try and find some wood. Gonna grab this. We have an opportunity for a sacred, or a wonder, it would be like right here. But, like, Delhi can just straight up crash right in and... I don't know how strong Delhi is. They've been trading for a while. They did bring a, a force to help, it looked like. Yeah, they did. Alright, so this is good. We're gonna get some wood here. Gold is coming in. The coffers are flowing. Um, guys, this is like a resource barren game, 100%. Okay, so there's a, some sort of a keep over there from the Ottomans. Okay, let's go see if we can torch this real quick. I would like to keep this operational. See if the boy is watching. If not, we get a free cannon. <laughs> Let the boy watch. Give me the cannon. Okay, that's great. Now we just pull back and laugh. Just cackle all the way to the bank. Do they want some of the do hosting? Round two? Probably just do regular siege equipment this time. Alright. Let's get on the cannon right there. Streltsy are just super chad so they can take it. How many times must we punish this army? <laughs> okay, no, any weird backdoor shenanigans? I don't think so. Looks like traders are being shut down. Let's go ahead and set up some siege workshops here. Oh, shit, he's coming for blood. Look at him, dude. He's like, I've had enough! Summon the Elector Rams! Okay, we should be able to repair through this, maybe. Ooh, I don't know, actually. He's got a shitload of elephants. Okay, let's blast these guys, see if we can repair this keep. Okay, the Streltsy are just doing the work, though. The Elector Rams are causing problems, but it looks like we do uh, break that army here. We need to starve him of gold if we want to win this conflict. Alright. The elephants always roll up and you're always like, oh wow, look how scary they are. But then they just like kind of get karate chopped by late game armies. I feel like it's, yeah, it's always kind of been like that. So yeah, the keeps, unfortunately, our keeps is going to fall. Is there any wood around? There legit is not. So we're dealing with the Elector Rams. Which are just torching my poor buildings. Leftover rams from the Wonder Push? I know, I feel like that's what it is. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, God. Okay, let's go here. Turn where we can share, don't be greedy. <laughs> it's too late for... It's too late for such friendship to blossom. This is my... This is my... My, my rat's nest here. The Dread Pirate Roberts is gone. Wow, I guess he just really was crippled from that. 
No more. Yeah, we should probably cancel that. Let's dive some artillery. Let's move up and fan out formation. Try and start sniping the good stuff. Snipe the artillery. Start to drain his gold eco. That's how we do it. And it looks like we got most of the artillery. I think there's like one piece left. Those mangoes are quite good against us, though. Hey, Bentley, thanks for becoming a member. Thank you for helping us reach our monthly goal, my friend. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard. Hope you're enjoying the pure suffering, which is this match. It's actually a fun one, though, all jokes aside. This is like a good, solid back and forth one with a lot of dynamics. Welcome, welcome. I still got the wood eco going. We need to protect these. We gotta keep coming up, which is gonna be hard to stop. Set up another one, get a cannon. He's obviously gonna come with the rams. Let's go focus this thing down. Oh, do we cancel it? We probably do. Kill the stupid bombard. Nice. I'm hearing I'm hearing the call of the wild over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Poor villagers. They were caught. Okay. So we are just fleeing. You always know when it's like a mass Sipahi switch that people are hurting on resources. Okay, let's uh, see if we can go over here. Salvage that. While our trebuchets just continue launching away. Yeah, so we did lose a lot of bills there. It's alright. We can rebuild them. Uh, do we have some guys defending this? We do. So trying to defend against the horseman raids. Alright. How are the trebs looking? Slowly knocking things down. We got a second keep coming up. And attack. So do this, 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 this. Once those keeps are down, we can just steamroll. We need to um, secure our main base, though. It's really janky how we don't have, like, secondary layers of security. Because then this shit happens, right? Just, like, some random cavalry just ride around trolling us. Is he coming to help, or... I'm not sure what he's doing. Let's probably get cannon towers and placements on all these anyways. Okay, so we need to get secondary walls up. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. All right, keeps are slowly falling, making progress. I wonder if anybody else can feel the wonder. I don't, I don't feel like it. I do not think that there's going to be more wonders on the table. Okay. Oh, slip up for a second. Might have to rebuild these traps, which would be annoying. He gets one. Well played. Good micro. Okay, so we got some fun action over here planned. Almost got the keeps down. He's only got a couple left. Delhi has so many keeps. And the thing is, guys, he's got a bunch of relics, most likely, although, no, I stole them. So he's just getting the sacred money and the trade money. That's kind of what was keeping him going. All right, you guys keep lumberjacking here. The traders are still waddling out. The Ottomans could be crossing the river at any point. Oh, hello. Okay. Just, just the story of this game is just this. Because he just shows up like a bandit in the night. I need to finish Delhi though, because he's just going to keep poking at me every time. Okay, how's that? Keep looking. He probably won't be able to replenish that, although that is an erect army over there. Oof. That is an erect army. Hopefully he's just chilling and defending his shit. I'm glad I have vision of this. I don't know. I guess I have some stuff on the rivers. See, now I can't really commit to going after um, Delhi, which is a problem. Because if I overextend into Delhi and get backstabbed, then we're in big trouble. Uh, enemy destroyed Dread Pirate. Dread Pirate Roberts is already gone. Why, why is it giving us notifications? That's weird. Okay. Let's get the rams in there. We can attack here. Um, and is there anything else we need to focus? Not really. 
Let's come down here and build some uh, build some stuff next to his landmark so we can't rebuild it. Still just having a good old jolly time at my expense. Now, the Rams here taking down the in-base keep. We just need to maintain the trade and hope that they can't keep up with me in terms of like making good armies. Um, is there anything I want to do down here? Not really. Okay. Just keeping a watchful eye. Okay. Yeah. The time has come. No more games. The Rams got in, but yeah, he was able to respond to that. I think the Ottomans want to fight. I can't tell. Cancel that. Make horsemen. Dude, this is getting real, real shady. Like, resource-wise, there's, no, like, no wood either. Okay, so let's just have these traps keep attacking. We just gotta watch the Ottomans. Okay, uh, let's blitz across. Get the horseman to try and get his artillery while it's out of position. Just the ruined walls there. All right, so let's uh, get there if we can. Let's go here and attack. So we get on top of the artillery. Yeah, it's not worth. He's got a big core. We need him to overextend to be able to win that. Because now Delhi's going to be like getting the idea to backstab too, which is not good. So we just need springs. Uh, we just make some basic spears, archers to save money. A couple spring towers there. It's going to take him a minute to get through this, so we'll just gather up a Doom Legion here. Yeah, fighting in a choke point is going to be very strong. Alright, so now Delhi's here. Oh, good thing we just had a bunch of spring ults pop out back there, Jesus. Alright, so we got to pull back. We got to defend this. Monkey see, monkey do. He's here with rams. Alright, our rams can go attack as well. Okay, so we got to defend this back door. You can have that area, Teal. I shouldn't even say anything. Shouldn't show that I'm I'm currently not very strong. <laughs> He's got a lot going on there, man. Okay, Spring Alt's just going to get caught by horsemen. I don't have enough protection for them here. Okay, let's attack north. Just pray to the dark gods that Teal doesn't move in. He's trying to finish my landmarks, which is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Not going to be easy, though. That is for sure. All right, so let's get you guys to do this. Should drive back this army, but yeah, the problem is Teal's coming here now. Demo ships? If, if only I had them. I don't think I can handle both these guys. One of them, either one, sure, but both. Not going to be possible. So let's grab you guys, do this, um, and you can go up. Well, we don't want to build that yet. We need to keep fighting here. Uh, do you want to make springs? Good. The problem is as my landmarks are getting hit, um, it's giving notifications that like I am getting hit at landmarks. So other people know I'm vulnerable. That's the downside. It announces it. All right, so let's go repair this. We just got to really, really hope that um, that nobody else attacks me right now like hardcore. I have enough bank to maybe fight off both of them for a moment, but it's it's not it's not a, a good order. Okay, so landmarks getting hit. Let's go repair this one. Uh, this fast guy should be getting repaired as well. So yeah, he, he I don't know if I'll have enough wood to do that again. Let's finish the walls. So the haggard back door has been stopped. Should have repairs. All the rams are gone. Now we just gotta worry about Teal's push, which is just gonna be like him in open field with, um, yeah, with horseman surrounds. Basically, what we do there. Okay, like I want to go kill Delhi right now, but I like there's no other threat to Teal. Oh man, that's, uh, that's not good. Okay. Although most of my trade, I think, kind of got karate chopped there, and we'll see. Save it. Yes. Now I don't have to redo all that shit. Alright, so the walls have been re-secured. We have our, our proud villager sentinel. Teal is chilling. Ooh, man. Blue must be strong 
in that corner, eh? Teal, like, I understand Teal attacking, though. He's got no... I mean, I'm like, I'm blocking him, kind of, you know, so... Same with Deli. Deli is like, you gotta be not happy with me. Alright, so let's get some bills. Set up a little wall here. I don't know how strong they are. Looking at my golden gate, um, I still have 35 charges. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Alright, so, man, the, the threat of Teal is definitely stressful. Okay, so let's do the, the jankiest stuff. I'm surprised you don't have trade. There's literally an open open trade bot. Not going for it. I don't know why he wouldn't go for trade on bot if it's there. So we got this camped. Let's make sure things don't get too crazy there. And I believe the trebuchets are on the way. Looks good. I can't afford to spam rams anymore, guys. There's there's just no wood left on the map. There was no trade south. I accidentally killed it. No, no. Neutral trade mid. North of purple's base. I don't know how he couldn't have seen that. Okay, looks like there's a keep coming up, but we should be able to just siege that down. We're de basically just hedging our bets here. Just hoping to the Dark Gods that things don't go too badly here. Why can we not build anything? Oh, it's the friggin' food carcasses. Well, it wasn't looking. We were ambushed. Okay, it looks like we're gonna maintain, though. Yeah, because he can't rebuild this landmark, the one we're camping, so we just need to go for his, um, his other one. <laughs> be funny if I just like told Leto about that like he just had no idea it was there okay so we know where all his landmarks are we just gotta we just gotta end, end this once and for all okay let's leave that okay how are we looking keeps are getting knocked down yes I can't afford to have a big deli Ramstein going for it. yeah teal's probably going for a wonder I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so there are a couple dudes here. Let's get you guys and you guys. Come and torch these rams down. Make sure he doesn't repair that. Let's hit that keep. Yeah, I, I, that would be a good play for him to go for wonder. Good. Okay, we have we have the most haggard defenses possible here. At least I can spam gold units. That's the one thing I got going for me here. Let's move in. Rams will take these down. Horse and back, horse and back. Now we need to go here. Wipe out this army. Should be doable. Let's just make gold intensive units. Oh, that's right. We have spring here. I was like, oh, that's cool. And here. All right, so we know where all the landmarks are. And this one shouldn't be getting repaired here anytime soon. Not while we have those towers. Okay, just a little bit of haggardness here. I shouldn't have built that wooden tower there, but it's okay. Here comes more pushing from the south, so let's defend and defend. Dive, dive, dive. We just keep getting units over there. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I'm nervous about this side. Definitely sweating some bullets, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, I walled in my traders. I thought I, I thought I built a gatehouse, but I was wrong. That will stem the flow of gold for a moment. Alright, so let's do this, and have you guys go here, torch that down. Delhi coming to try and repair. It's, it's obviously the expected play. <laughs> That's some janky shit. Okay, let's get let's get you guys going again. I love the bronze Odia plays. It's my favorite. Yeah, let's get back here. Defend that. Have you guys attack here. 
Did, uh, why are they not building this gatehouse? Did you? What the hell is this shit? Are you seeing this? Oh, it's because the traders were standing right on top of it. Oh my god. Okay, so finally we we're able to get it after 10 million years. We maybe, maybe kill Delhi. It looks like he's sieging us. We need to just end this here. Okay, he's trying to repair it. Because I got to get back to my base soon. I, I don't have time for this. This should have happened 10 years ago. Okay, he's just kind of lightly sieging. And the middle, not going to get repaired. Looking good. And villagers, honestly, there's like not a whole lot to do. GG. Alright, so let's get back to the base. And go prepare to defend. Okay, um, I don't know if he had, had any relics or anything, so we're just going to delete those because they can't move very quick, so I'll just rebuild them closer to home. So that, now there's three. Oh, you did great, Ventus. It was very tough to kill you. I don't know if you were watching, but the dreaded Ottoman Empire across the river here. They must have some sweet trade going, I bet. Um, all right, so you know what? I guess we just... Oh, oh, wait, what is this? Is that a wood patch up in the trees? Oh, yeah. All right, so you can see the uh, the little haggard emplacement here making a bit of a difference. Or the walls. It's just like, it's just annoying, right? But we need to keep this, you know, trade gravy train going for a while. Okay, are they going to be able to get into the hills? Yeah, we found some wood. I was about to say, it's like siege equipment's not going to be really able to be made if we don't. So we're going to definitely take some ugly attrition here. Uh-huh. Uh, I believe I pulled some bills up north to build that, so some of them need to go here. How many do we send here, actually? Yeah, we need to go get back on our farms. You never know. Uh, the big wars are going to drain quite a bit of food. So, what we need now also is going to be more stables. Malato with a wonder, huh? Obvious wonder is obvious. Everyone's like, uh, he was saying, like, I have no gold. I knew it. Okay, Teal. I knew he had it. It was obvious. Yeah. Teal, wonder. You need to go other way. From bottom. You need to, you need to get this. I don't want to kill this army, but I will. Okay, I'm just going to. I really don't want to fight it. It's, it's counterproductive. You're going to need that shit. All right, so let's get you guys down here. Go do this. I don't know why Teal has to go this way. I'm, I'm going to attack him and then just play the Sacreds. Go other way or I strike the army. It, he's got to go the other way. If he goes this way, I'm striking it. Okay, I'm coming for it. All right, so he's back now. Let's pull you down here. Uh, central. Isn't there another road? It's closer to his base. Yeah, so we need to get this army off. And uh, do I want to delete any bills? <sighs> yeah, at this point, I think we do. Okay, do we have religious characters out? We do, I think. I think there's a couple. So we need to grab this sacred site. And then we need to go to the golden uh, gate gatehouse. Start trading for some stone. Okay. So he's got a mass warrior scout army. Uh, might actually defeat mine, actually. Okay. So let's take sacreds. Nanu, you control other one. I will cap. And you take when he deletes. That's that's our best bet. Because pushing him, I, he, God knows how long he's been entrenching for. But we need to get our, our, our clutches on the uh, sacreds, 100%. Okay, so the fighting going down over here. Unfortunately, the Ottomans are accidentally killing some of my stuff. We don't have too long. Uh, looks like the sacred is going to be capped, which is what we need. Can you stand position, please? Thank you. No, don't turn around and shoot me. 
Okay, that army's getting smashed. Get the villagers over this way. Perfect. So that's one, and then we just need to grab the other one. I will grab other. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. As long as uh, as long as he doesn't accidentally kill my uh, my warrior priest. Don't kill priest. Alright, let's see if he's gonna accidentally kill the priest or not. Okay, moving up. And uh, now the villagers here. How many do we have? Just a casual 28 villagers. Okay, so we need to fight over here. He's trying to snipe my priest, which is obviously smart. I don't know if it's going to work. He's got too many, too many dudes here. Ivan is riding as quick as he possibly can from the sofa. Um, I don't know if he's going to make it, though. I don't think so. Do I have any other religious characters? Oh, we do. We have one hiding here. <laughs> uh, we have, a, we have like, one more go at it, basically. So I'm going to hide you up here. Clear him off. My macro slipped a little bit. Okay, so if he can clear off the sofa, then I might be able to grab it. Although he might just go for the back one also. Let's leave a standing army there. Okay, down you go. You guys defend this. Okay, we gotta go base prob. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get the troops here in time. I don't have any wood, so I can't make. I can't make spears. Shit. Okay, Strelzi it is. So I would wager he's probably really entrenched. I can't. I think. I think. Uh, I think Leto's got this. Because the thing is, nobody has. I don't have wood for siege. Yeah, I don't have wood for siege at all. Okay, let's get on the sacred. Get on the sacred. Get you guys on the sacred. Unless you can, yeah, the Ottoman army can get there. I don't know. This is going to be very difficult. Uh, so we got to use Golden Gate to trade for wood, which is super janky. Okay, let's gather over here. We managed to hold this objective, the second sacred, but the third one is being guarded. I don't know where the um, where the Ottoman Empire went. Yeah, I don't know where they went. So hopefully it's somewhere to help. So let's uh, creep this way, see what we can find. We'll gather the armies. Yeah, I think it's GG, I think he's got it. We needed to work better to clear him off the objective here. But it was not to be. All right, so let's gather up the boys, make some spears, finally, and some roost knights. These guys can, uh, these guys can do, man, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. I'm so wood starved. Okay, so let's make some uh, wood folk. Have them go get up into the tree line here. He's pulled back. Um, is it worth taking the sacred? I don't know if it is at this point. It might be. You never know. We'll just grab it. Whatever. The other one isn't undefended, so we'll, we'll just take it for the money. All right, so gathering an army up here. We have a direct route to come through there. Um, we do not have a wall at the moment, but let's delete that. That will let the boys through. I don't have enough wood to make some more supply lines. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, we're just doing Golden Gate and just making making siege equipment where we can. Not looking good. That's for sure. It was so obvious Blue was just sitting in the corner. And I just it was so obvious. Like nobody was doing anything to him. So I don't have any money. <laughs> Alright, Rams, let's go. Let's get out here, man. Summon the Elector Rams. Oh my god, am I really... Yeah, so we'll, we'll make this and like... I don't know, man. What else we could possibly do. You have good trade. Let's buy some more wood. Golden Gate's out of charges, so that's that's what it's going to be. Let's go see if we can find some armies to fight. So we're at least not wasting supply. Cancel these knights. And uh... Yeah, I could start deleting some food bills, probably. Alright. So the rams are here. Let's knock down the walls. We'll get some bills up here to start working the tree line again. We're kind of all in here. We do have the sacreds, which is kind of cute. So maybe there's something to that. It'd be really funny if like nobody took those down. 
All right, Rams. Hey, that Ottoman army of Nanu is really good, though. Nanu's army is pretty scary. So I don't know... Um, I don't know what kind of progress we're going to be able to make, but, you know, it's in the corner. I would wager it's got stone walls around it. Like, it's 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 pimping. It's it's in good shape. All right, let's go get some wood here. The Elector Rams are all that matters here. Can we really not get through there? Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, well. Happy to fight you. Hopefully the Ottoman army is nearby. And uh, we can keep knights coming in. Roost knights are better than the, uh, the Malian ones. Not by a ton, but by some. You attacking too? Let's see if he's here. Yeah, because we Malian Army's late game will usually fold up. Trying? I just got his army. Complete wipe there. More or less. So let's get more rams in there and keep cruising. Need infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. You gotta build it. More roost knights. More of you guys. We got six minutes, guys. That is not enough time for this. Send some scouts, yeah. We're, we're moving along. The Elector Rams are on the way. I'm trying to torch some buildings down, but, you know, we can just rebuild them. It's fine. Uh, all right. Oh, man, there's a lot of wood on this side of the map. So this is a dead player's base. Um, so let's take the most direct route and see how they decide to path it. All right, so in we go. So let's knock this down and then go this way. I don't know what the landscape looks like. It's pretty, pretty scary. Come on, Rams. Faster. Will Gondor answer the call? I, I don't know. Well, if I had more wood, I could make more forward infrastructure. Good play, though, by Leto, man. He 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 had that juicy, juicy uh, gold surplus. He probably had Mansakori just collecting for, like, 10 years. I bet you that's what it was. Okay, let's just keep ramming the walls. This is obviously where his army's gathering. We need to win another fight here. I don't have that many Streltsy this time around, though. All right, so yeah, he's gonna win this fight. He's got a ton of Musa Fatty Gunners, 27, so my army's gonna get mowed down. So we need to get more, I mean, I can't protect Mangoes against that much, it's too much. All right, so let's get the Rams to like try and creep by and go like survey the landscape. We for sure lose this fight. All right, Rams, come on. Let's just start hitting infrastructure. Although, homeboy here in the corner has no shortage of, uh, of wood. All right, so let's get up in the walls, put a little bit of hurt down. Yeah, Teal needs to help. This is gonna is not gonna work. Lado is very jacked in the corner. Just got six pack abs, looking looking like business. Okay. Yeah, no, this is not. This is this is uh, this is tough. We need another army to be hammering at the same time while he's trading with me. Okay, looks like Teal's here now. That's good, but mm, is he going to be able to do much is the question. I don't see a lot of, like, troopers with him. All right, let's uh, keep heading in. Enemy destroyed later the Duke's landmark. There we go. All right, so let's make some Erector Rams. Horsemen, make whatever the hell we can. Ride through into the base. Let's go see how truly walled that is. All right, so moving in with some knights. We need intel to see what lies ahead. So let's gather you guys up and just scout with these these dudes here. Okay, let's uh, ride back. Four minutes left. That's pretty bleak. Shelty. Okay, so we're getting good intel here. The rams are back. Rams are back in town. Okay. Uh, keep pandas are not walled there. For real? You might actually have a chance of slipping something through there if he's not walled. All right, so no, he's definitely walled. Lado is one of our seasoned Discord players, so he's he's gonna know that he needs to do that. Condor showed up, yeah, he finally did, and you can see we're starting to starting to feel a little bit better here now. Okay, so let's just run these guys around and uh, get the boys in there. Yes, yes. So he needs to hold for three minutes, give or take. Okay. Let's salvage these knights if possible. And uh, more rams. Yes, more rams. We'll eventually switch to traps once we make more progress, but... All right, they can fight in this choke point here. That's actually pretty good. It'll occupy a lot of his knights in a choke. And uh, here he comes. His army appears to have taken some damage. 
Okay, let's get up on his walls. Ooh, nice mango. That's nasty. All right, so we just gotta try and wear him down, slowly, slowly but surely. The wall strelzy here are pretty good. Okay, so more knights. Just spent. Let's spend all of our precious gold and blast those Musa fatty gunners. The Chad wall strelzy here uh, running out of steam. He's got yeah, so he's all in. Uh, he's got like a 200 sack army, which is uh, which is a good play. It's very good. That's a lot of splash damage right there. All right, so hopefully the Ottomans are close, but guys, we got two minutes left. I think it's too late. It's too late. I maybe could have gone Wonder, but I don't think I could have stopped them both. Maybe. Ah. I don't have like a super tight choke point like this forest here. It would have been hard. All right, let's gather round two. We got to keep the pressure on while Teal is Teal's making ground, right? Because there's a slim chance he gets it. <laughs> we have the sacred victory soon too. Nobody's paying attention to that, which is really funny. Um, that's like just in case. Do this. Do this, and uh, the other one I think already has something on it. All right, guys, come on. You can do it. You guys remember that water boy? He's so good. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that, was a, that was a classic era of movies. Dude, look at the, the Rams just fighting tooth and nail in the front. I would be really interested to see what Lado's coffers look like. All right, so now we have basically, I think, like time for one Ram push maybe. Or not Rams, but uh, Trebs. Yeah, so we need to just do that, make some bombards. Keep moving in. The Ottomans would be the steel chair though. They would um, have all the bombards and Trebs and stuff. All right, here comes another wave. Uh, I don't... He's got a full army here, so maybe Teal's not nearby. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to do this ourselves here. Alright, so let's fight. And get you guys shooting into the choke point. Yeah, it's Teal, man. I don't know where his armies are at. I don't know. Blue would eventually starve here, but... Uh, with this attrition. 44 seconds, so unless there's like a secret Ottoman teleportation tactic... Did he get it? Oh no! He's saying GG! You should be spending these moments trying to get it! <laughs> Where are you? Anakin, I'm too weak! You're most likely person to do the Waterboy quotes of anyone I know. Dude, I love Waterboy. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, well played! Lado with the, uh, Lado with the wonder. When there's only three people. That was, that was some good stuff. I really want to see how far the Ottomans got, or if they're even nearby. Because we've been kind of wearing down the armies. Not super effective, to be fair. But let's see. All right, guys. Here's the wonder. GG. What's it going to be? Where is it? Where is it, Precious? Come on. Oh, oh my god. Reveal the map. I want to see. That's like the best part of FFA games. <laughs> Give it to us. Oh my god. Is it really going to blue ball us? No, dude. Oh, the game crashed. That's like the most fun. It's like seeing... Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't crash. Okay, so we were like right here. Not... Ottomans had some siege, but not enough infantry, I guess. They were getting pushed back. So maybe they could muster a big army. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game. I think I think in that situation... Uh, Whoever whoever does a um, a wonder first in a three that three player game will just win it. It's, it's very smart. It's really hard to push like late game like that. Although the Ottomans did pretty good. If if I had done a wonder, it's different though because he already has like a whole beachhead here, so he's pushing me right away. Lado Lado had good armies. He must have had a lot banked. Whenever somebody says they're broke, typically uh, typically it's a lie. <laughs> All right, yeah. Look at Lado's gold. I have no gold. Homeboy had the most in the game. Look at that. I had food and wood, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, dude, of course. Of course. The map reveal came. All right, guys. Uh, it's time for some 1v1 action. So we'll do another 1v1 and uh, and go from there. So I haven't played much this season. I, I I placed really low, so we have to climb our way back up. Even though it's like even though I'm in platinum, it's putting me against Conqueror players still, which cursed elo. Yeah, we'll get there. He had the trade, yeah. Yeah, no, no, it was good. Lado with Lado with a great victory, very well earned.
I, I wonder who he was fighting. I have no gold, my lord. I know, I have like like five traders and <laughs> then the Grimas come out. Uh, who do we want to play here? Man, I haven't played a like, 1v1 game in so long. Um, should we just be the overpowered English? You guys have already seen a ton of Roost today. I'm going to try a really weird Malian build. No, I'm not going to play Roost. Roost is my 1v1 Civ these days, though, but... <laughs> what trade? I have no gold, my lord. I know, I know. Yeah, Malians with their ore pits alone should be getting a ton. Your army kept getting... He did have a 200 stack, yeah. He, he was all in, which is how you should do it. It was a nice one. It was a very nice one. All right, Malians versus Delhi. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do some random shit and see if it works. That's that's the plan here, guys. Yeah, I should have played some HRE. That's 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 my other main. Any Warhammer 3 tournaments? Yeah, there will be one in the next few days. I don't know when, but uh, sometime. Not, maybe not tomorrow. Okay, let's do this. Grab that. I'm like, I was looking at those those guys like I needed to uh, go after them. I was like, oh, I need to go get those deer over there. Okay, so let's do this and have you turn in and go set up the pit back here. I think I kind of remember what I'm doing with Malians. So we're playing Delhi, right? So sacreds are going to be the memes. They're going to be happening. We You want to get a little bit on lumber here? Oh, dude, look at this guy. He just rolled up on me like that. What's cool about Malians is you don't really need to worry about um about the uh, food because of the, uh, the you could just build cattle and stuff. But my plan is to go two TC here. Yeah, no, I did. I watched the UFC. It was it was great. It was fun. It was it was a good run. Good run of fights. Let's go see what we can find here. We're still okay on sheep for now, so let's just kind of keep circling the base to make sure we don't miss anything. And uh, let's get another house here. Malians are really fun, though. They're very fun. I really like the Civ. Cool play style. We we just need to make sure... Do Delhi players still go for um, Sacred? I would imagine they do. I don't know what the meta is nowadays, but... We will find out. Let's go find some sheep in the corner. Looking good. I feel like Warrior Scouts could be good. Pro Scouts, maybe, also. For all these like deer encampments. Seems like a cool idea. Alright. So you guys need to just switch on over to food. And uh, we can build one more house here. Alright, so now we go up to the next age. I wanted to do, instead of doing the uh, Farimba Garrison, I wanted to do the, um, what's it called? The cattle landmark and try 2TC. With Malians and see if that like plays out well. I think it'd be kind of fun. I think that would be kind of fun. Okay, so this line, this relic, this one's pretty far back. If we could just keep him on one sacred, then that's good. Obviously, none is preferable, but okay. So we got a lot of food going. Gonna keep kind of building up the old gold, uh, gold pits there. Two twenty-seven, not the fastest age up, but not the slowest either. So let's uh, hug the edge of the map. See what we can find. Need to get a sight on things. Bad things for Malian is the Lord of... Pa uh, you know what? All jokes aside, I haven't been getting supply blocked that much lately. I mean, a couple times in the FFA, but I think if you watched other people play on stream, it probably wouldn't be that much more than what they're experiencing. So, Delhi aggression is a thing. I could do like... Oh, you know, that's actually kind of a cool idea. I like that. We're, we're going hog wild. You guys ready for this? Hell yeah, the, the Saharan trade proxy on the sacred site. That's a pretty manly play, I would say. Okay. And then we just go, we go uh, sofa, double stable sofa map control into, um, this is this is pretty dodgy. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit shady. Okay, so then we can wall our other sacred. Um, this is going down. I like this. This is kind of cool. I didn't, you know, I just kind of came to me in a moment. It's just like, hey, let's let's give it a try. Okay, that's not going to matter. I think we're okay. Let's pull our, our scout here. He's not going to have anything. He's just going to have to accept his fate there. Uh-huh. He says cute. Well, okay. I'm, I'm glad you think so. 
I am glad you think so, my friend. Okay, so we'll keep on this. We're gonna go wall the other one. And go scout the front of the Delhi base. We're not gonna go like a fast 2TC. We're gonna like get map control first with Sofa, I think. Although Delhi usually does make a lot of spears, don't they? Yeah, we'll have to find out. Sofa are pretty badass though. Okay, let's go back here. Do all that. So getting some walls to make sure nothing wild happens. So we're slightly behind on the age. Obviously, because we uh, we had to go build our landmark here. It will secure us some berry bushes. So let's go see what tech he's building now. The new age has begun. All right, so next up, uh, we need to get a bunch of wood. And it uh, looks like they did not want to build this. So what units are you going to make, mister? That's what we need to find out right now. And we could do a tower here, but I think just controlling that with Sofa is going to be enough. <laughs> That's true. Maybe it's true, Gunhound. You got me there, brother. Okay, so he's got the barracks. Is that a tower of victory? Okay, so he's he's not even playing that way. Not even going to play for the Sacreds, probably. I mean, he will, but it's not going to be the same rapid pace. All right, so let's get the uh, Sofa out. We'll hide the tech like as far away from his scouting as possible. And we got a stable. Okay, so it is going to be stable. Look at that. Very cheeky. I almost want to get the warrior scout upgrade. To try and do a little bit of harass with that. Kind of seems like it could be a cool idea. So we have the Saharan Trade Network. He lets us build the wall. Great. We need to get a second stable. I like, I like the double sofa for map control. Feels good. Okay, and then we want to get the uh, sofa. And then we build the uh, the last one right there. All right, great. So eventually we'll switch to a second. Um, yeah, we don't have the warrior scout upgrade. I, I wonder if it's worth, like, I, I really do. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get you. I think we're going to win this fight. And get the villager to shank here. It's got a horseman coming across, but we should have a sofa man over here. Okay, let's do this. And now we can try and get the walls all built. Oh, he, he wants this, huh? Well, the sofa will actually do very well in that fight. All right, so let's get the sofa. I don't know if he'll win against several of them. So let's gather up first. Let's go sit there. Have you do this, get a couple of these guys going out. Get the wheelbarrow upgrade. And uh, we're also gonna make some cattle. So let's get the sofa. And uh, once we get like two, I think we can go and, and try and close the breach here. Is he going after that? Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right, so how many do, do we have here? Oh no, he's gonna get a villager. And then we need to go start raiding him too. Okay, so let's attack and you buddy can go camp this. Make sure no, nothing too crazy happens. Let's go down here, do a little bit of raiding. Now the sofa have engaged here. Let's pull back. And if we get this sealed, we should. And all right, let's go attack. Looking good. So now we can pull a couple of you guys onto stone and hopefully you won't notice. And ooh, a scholar coming in. Perfect timing, eh? Perfect timing. So we're gonna get the scholar. Um, let's get the warrior scout upgrade so we can kill the other one. We got the wall sealed and outstanding. So that's good for us. And now we need to go ahead and get a tower here. Because obviously we're going to be a little bit susceptible to being raided. Let's get you. Our scout should be able to get the job done. Pick this guy off. Chase his dudes. Now we can start on that second TC. And nice. We got a pick. So let's go harass his gold a little bit. Run back this way. And uh, let's see if we can get some more guys over there. All right, we got a lot of food at the moment. Um, Warrior Scout Man can come in and go after these guys. He's gonna get the one, but that's pretty much it. And now we can start pulling on to, to this. Okay, let's see if we can find golds. Any workers on golds? Not quite. 
Okay, almost got him. Okay, Sofa snuck around the back, so might be able to cause some havoc here. Let's get some warrior scouts, and uh, how are we doing on stone? Stone is coming back together. So trying to like macro behind this a little bit. Okay, very nice. Okay, he, he did lose us in the forest. Clever girl, very sneaky. Can you guys take that down, please? Thank you. Okay, so we're decapping that. We're going to go right into his wood line also. Okay, so, wow, has he got rams? Huh, maybe he's up. He, he, he thinks we're... Uh, I'm not sure what he thinks. Okay, so it's being decapped there. Let's get a couple of you guys to sneak around here. Turn around and fight. So maybe he's going for some pressure in the middle? Oh, we almost got the sacred side decap, but we didn't quite get it. Okay, let's go up there. And sneak around, go up there. Have you guys torching down the gates, although they can't really get through. Let's go to the wood line here. Vils can do this and then this. We almost have enough for another TC. Almost. And I need to get another ore pit up. I totally forgot to do that. That's how you can tell I'm kind of rusty here, guys. Alright, outstanding. So that's going pretty good. We got more of the warrior scouts on the way. And now we're diving into the, to the resource lines here. Okay, let's get Sofa battling. We're idling Vils in the base. We'll be back here. And this and this. You guys come under here. And uh, we can make some javelin throws as well. Cool. We're going to get there, man. We're going to get there. We got the decap coming. Let's go ahead and attack with one of these warrior scouts to keep that under control. Let's see if we can finish this off. Come on. Yes. Nice. Yeah, food is very bad right now. We need to set that up, geez. All right, so um, you guys can turn in and then set up you next to the TC here. Seems as if we've held, but I did lose my guys on the other side, but he has no sacreds at the moment, which is good. All right. You're waiting for the imminent supply block? Yeah, I know, me too. Me too, my friends. So we got a little bit on gold. We probably don't need that right now. We need to focus more on the food. Um, Warrior Scouts, we did hold here. Probably going to be Rams coming, like, really soon. Yeah, so let's go see if we can get some pokes and shut down the Rams as they're being built. Yeah, we kind of screwed up the build order a little bit. I went, I, I didn't need to get gold. That was the problem. So let's get that Archer pick. Hell yeah, dude. Give me those freebies. Yes. Yes. The annoying javelins will rise from the ashes. Keep picking off units. Oh, wow, look at that. He's even getting crazy over there. Okay, let's do that. Let's set up you. So he's going to be coming here in a minute. You know, we don't really have too much infantry. So we need to make some uh, Zonso. For sure going to lose this landmark. I don't see it coming back here. Um, what kind of an army do we have over there? We have the 2TC now. Let's garrison you guys up. Take this down. So yeah, he should, should just lose some units here outright. Come on, warrior scouts. Get the job done. Pull back, pull back. Looks like they're trapped. Okay, so we got these walls. Um, looks like those dudes are in trouble there. Yeah, we're just like, our, our, we're so sloppy with so much of our uh, our eco this game. It's the rust, man. It's the rust, I swear. It's not, not just, I'm not just a bad player, I promise. Okay, uh, we got some random dudes in the back of our base here. And we do have the 2TC up. That's like the one thing we got going for us. We, we, like, we can't even like really produce off it though, which is a problem. He's got rams and shit. People play Delhi differently than I remember. Do we have any military at all? We have a little bit, geez. Alright, so let's garrison up. Uh, TC, still hanging in there, but for how long? I don't know. It's looking pretty bleak. 
Okay, let's get you guys here. Get our military to go clean up these uh, trolls in the back. We do have the 2TC. That's the one thing we got. And uh, let's get you back on berry bushes. Head off some isolated force, uh, forces here. And we can fight. That's a good spot. It's as good of a spot as any. Alright, let's get you on berry bushes, guys. We don't want to battle our sofa here if we don't have to. Okay, he's back for now. Yeah, yeah. Delhi changed a lot. It's feudal all ins now. Yeah, well, I mean, and sacreds, right? So he's he's doing he's doing quite good for himself. We're gonna send those guys to go try and do something here. I do have the two CC, but I don't think it's gonna be able to keep up with his gold. I think he's gonna just be super far ahead. Okay, uh, let's try and do this. So yeah, probably just matching his feudal aggression would be the way. I think. I don't know. It's been a while. Okay, and you guys can loop down this way, and then we'll try and take an army up that way once we can get one. If it ever happens, the two TCs going strong, but again, we don't have the um, we don't have the uh, yeah. We'll, we'll go and try and take this back. Do a little bit of raiding here. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, I think we got some vil kills. Yeah, he's going castle, dude. He's just jacked. He is just absolutely jacked. And I just like can barely even produce anything. All right, so let's get you guys on food here. Although we still need the wood. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's move up and see if we can get a decap on something. Gonna try and stop the the sacred. See if we can get the middle one as well. Let's creep you guys over. Set up a tower there. See if we can like normalize the game in some way. It's gonna be so hard to come back. Okay, here comes the Delhi army. I don't think we can beat it. This is probably the best time to fight it though, sadly. Yeah, he's pretty serious. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing against old Delhi. I need to adapt to the new ways, guys. Okay, let's go here, do a little bit of harass. We got a tower coming up there, but it looks like he maybe headed it off. I'm not sure. Okay. And uh, you guys, yeah, let's just gather. I don't know what we're going to be able to do. All right, we did stop the sacred victory, though, which is cool. Okay, so let's start dragging down the spear armies. I don't know why I just built Muso Fadi. Well, I guess he's going to have man at arms soon, so he probably should. It would have to be Farimba Garrison here if I wanted any chances of surviving. Yeah, no, there's no way. He's got too much acre control. Unless he makes like a colossal blunder, which I mean, could happen. I don't see it happening, but let's get the prison shank out. Oh, you guys ready for this? The haggard dagger strikes. Okay, do we have any way to build more stuff? Not really, we're just so behind. I mean, we have the 2TC, but it really hasn't done much for us. Okay, we stopped his scholar with the, uh, we stopped his scholar with the dagger strike there. Okay, let's garrison you guys up. We're kind of like not super far off Castle Age. Let's get some more cattle here. And uh, yeah, we did stop the little relic action. He's recapping though. Delhi's very strong now, good to know. Well, I'm, I'm learning guys, trial by fire. Trial by fire. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the uh, Freemba garrison. It's the only, I wanted to go cattle ranch 2TC with you guys, but it's not gonna work, so. We basically just have to go back to the old ways, which is just spamming on gold and just, you know, hoping for the best. He's got the sacred thread again. Thankfully, you should be able to decap this one. And uh, Farimba just spam stuff. Yeah. That's basically what we're doing. If I managed to win this, that would be pretty nuts. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be pretty crazy. All right. We're on our way. I don't know why I'm getting stoned, but let's do it. Uh, do we have room for another house here? We do. The gold pits are flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. We've decapped him and we managed to get castle, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's make javelin throwers and uh, we can upgrade them here. And uh, we're also gonna wanna get probably some uh, 
Uso fatty because he's going to most likely have men at arms and things like that. Okay, let's hide in there. Set up a gatehouse here. Okay, can we just keep making all these goodies? We can. So let's spam things out. He obviously has the gold control. Let's run to the corner. Oh my god, look how erect that army is with like lancers and shit. Homie's probably been sitting on just so much gold for so long. Look, it's a giant elephant. It's a giant beast of war. What can man do against such reckless uh, dumbos here? He's going to try and shut down the old gravy train. Well, we're kiting a little bit, but honestly, it's not doing a whole lot for us. Yeah, okay, guys. So, Delhi, like, you, you don't need to... It seems stupid to go for any sort of, like, a macro build like this with how good their early aggression is now after the changes. GG, well played, dude. Okay, lesson learned. We're not going to try 2TC against him again. We're not going to try 2TC. Yeah, and the, the proxy um, landmark was probably not great either. Hey, Dark, Dark Horror, I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the kind words. And we have some... Uh, we had some donations earlier. Sorry, I missed them in the heat of combat. Masso and Bentley. Oh, Masso, you became a member as well. Thank you. Holy shit, Delhi's strong, man. I don't remember them being like that. I guess all their units have the attack speed. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. All right. So no more 2TC against them, especially with Malians who aren't even that good at 2TC. It's such a fun play style, though. It's so fun. <laughs> you could be Gnarls Barkley, but I think that's crazy, yeah. Yeah, I remember that song. That was huge when I was in high school. The Gnarls Barkley song. Yeah, it was it was big. All right, one more 1v1 game. We'll get the W. We'll play some HRE. We'll uh, we'll call it a day from there. Has anything changed with HRE? And Ivan, uh, where did the Turin come from? The name Turin? Um, it's just my middle name. Yeah, not, I'm not very clever. Yeah. The reason it works is because they can go way ahead in eco when they hit castles, so they're allowed to spend it all for feudal pressure. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, with their uh, their village fortresses and whatnot. Is that what it is, or is there something else? Hmm. Must be something else. I don't know. What could we play? What civs do we want to give a try? It was a good try. You know, I thought the sofa rating would be more effective, but honestly, he just had so much shit. He had so many units. You switch mass fills to stone at castle now and several keeps that pump bills. Yeah, it seems pretty brutal. Seems pretty brutal. All right, so let's... Uh, ooh, Prairie is... So the problem with playing HRE here, guys, is that Prairie, everyone plays HRE, and do you guys really want to suffer through a mirror match? Hmm. We could go English. You know what? I'm just going to do it. But yeah, this is the map for HRE, and you know he's probably going to play meta and play HRE as well, I would wager. Anymore? This will be the last one for tonight. Yeah. We'll do another H stream in a couple days, though. I know you guys want some of that sweet cast at FFA. Now, my hands are kind of bothering me a little bit tonight, so I, I got to get off the keyboard. The cursed problems. Oh, wow, Ottomans. Hell yeah, we don't get a mirror match. Oh, this is this is great. So this map's awesome for HRE because you just, you get like a ton of sheep and uh, yeah, you just get the Jesus on him and that's it. Sophie needs Castle Age Armor. Yeah, but early Sofa raids can still be very effective, but not against that type of pressure. Maybe if someone's more on the defense. Here we go, man. Got to resharpen the old Age of Empires blade if I want to get Conqueror again this season. Or else, or I can just keep using my Season 1 badge and live in my glory days when I was actually decent. So, yeah, just we probably do Fast Castle here. Get the Relics. But, again, 2TC HRE. I know, I know it might sound like I have a, a, a bit of a hard-on for the 2TC, uh, but it's actually a very viable strategy with Holy Romans. Like, it's because they can get it so much faster. Although these guys are um, a very aggressive Civ too. Yeah, I remember that. Let's go find some more sheep. Put that set up here. Do this. And uh, we can set that up. Come back here. Oh, yeah. Ottomans do that shit where they, like, raid you, right? Where they, like, cheese you with, like, an early spearman or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do that. Okay. So I just need to get enough gold, like, out of the gates to... Um, so we got the power of Jesus over there. Let's go find some more sheep if we can. 
We'll set eternity. Yeah, now that you're back from vacation. And I'll probably just play in, or cast the next tournament so you guys can get casted games because those are probably more fun, honestly, when you can see all the drama that's going on rather than just my, my salty perspective. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm that salty. Maybe a little bit. Maybe there's times where, like, you know, just like anyone, but... <laughs> Reliving the old conqueror days. Back in 05, I could throw this football clear over the high, <laughs> clear over that mountainside right there. Yeah, that's pretty great. I, I find that to be, like, the funniest shit ever. That scene in Napoleon Dynamite was really good. Uncle Rico, I think, is his name. Because I know people like that. I played high school football, and I, I have people who I know on my high school football team who still, like, you know, are going to the... <laughs> just, you know, reliving the glory days, I guess you could say. Yeah. Okay, so we just need to get a little bit of gold here. Yeah, I should be scouting, but I just have such a excitement to get all these. I just want to get all these battle sheep and uh, get to the next stage. We'll probably just do one TC and just go fast castle. It depends on depends on what he does. I don't know. I really love. Oh my god! Did I just forget to produce villagers for like two minutes? How long was that? That wasn't two minutes, right? I, god, I'm just so out of it today, man. All right, let's go over here. No, I, I don't think it was that long. I think it was just like a second. All right, so let's grab you guys, do this, and set up the Aachen Chapel. Um, we can do it like so. Have it be a, uh, the point with which we gather wood also. So it looks like he wasn't doing the, the shenanigans there. Wow, why am I so short on food? What the hell is wrong? I have like six guys that are motivated by the power of Jesus here, and I still don't have enough. Well, thankfully he's doing that like early pressure build, which won't really do anything here. So me idling for a second is, is not gonna lose me the game. Uh, we just barely got away. Holy shit. Look at that. Look at that HP. He's going to be coming in like a wrecking ball for that value. Rex is, yeah, Rex Kwando, the jujitsu coach. No, he's he's like a, it's like a karate coach. I don't think he's jujitsu. Oh my god, the spearman! No! <laughs> we'll yell a no at him. The dramatic, the dramatic no yell. I think he's laughing, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can't can't stop me here. I'm going to that next stage, whether you like it or not. The Thunderdome. Dude, I, I actually really like the Thunderdome maps. They're so fun. Okay, so let's garrison up in here. Have you guys there. We have emergency repairs for this, so we just need to get some wood now and we'll be chilling. I do actually like the idea of a 2TC. It could be fun. You know, I, I'll scout him out, obviously. We'll probably have to build a stable of some sort. and Well, probably an archer range first to force him back and go from there. But yeah, we should get wood pretty quick. We got the power of Jesus here, you know, motivating all the folks, so that's good. But, um, yeah, emergency repairs. There we go. All right. I almost have enough for the archer range. Which I really didn't want to have to build it. I could just build the barracks, too. Maybe he'll be tempted to attack me here. All right. Oh my God, I'm two wood short. Oh, for the love of God! All right. Just to resecure our gold, and then we go back on our our route to Castle Age, and we're we're chilling. But he's not going to be that far behind us now, so you know our little rushing advantage is kind of there. You guys want more water FFAs, dude? Water FFAs are so haggard. They're fun though. I think they're fun. It's just just kind of a funky little gimmick here. Okay, we can try a little prison shank action, see if he's watching. If he's not, we can get us around on his spearman and kill him. Prison shank him! Get an archer out just to be safe. He got one vill. Oh no. Oh, he actually had two guys there. Oh shit, okay. So that was kind of sloppy. Story of my life today, man. Come on. Let's get the, get the repairs up. Alright, archer's out. Do this, and uh, we need the emergency repairs. Pull a couple of you guys around. I'm trying to disrupt this. It's probably just one tower being built. Let's see. All right, so let's get on gold. Get the power of Jesus here. And now we just go to Castle Age. That's basically it. Got archers. Gonna need some scout action, but sadly I just don't have anything. So we're gonna have to like scout with like you know some sort of a unit. 
We got seven on gold. Should be able to get castle here pretty quickly. I need to uh, I need to scout. A water thunderdome? That that could be yeah, that could actually be kind of a fun idea, I think. I, I don't hate that. I don't hate the water thunderdome. Okay, so you guys um, hit the gold hard. Could move towards his base. I think I as, as bad as it is, I think I do need to scout with an archer. And uh, we need to get like some tables up too. Oh my god. Because I only know where one relic is right now, guys. So I'm just like I'm just like full bronze Odia at the moment. Losing your scout early is such a <laughs> such a shit thing. It's just like so bad. Oh god. An under empire on the water map. Yeah, could there be like a subterranean aspect of the water map? Oh god, the wolf is attacking me. I wonder what he's doing. Probably just like all in feudal aggression. I'm just gonna like die. Yeah. Although, you know, that build he did does delay him a little bit. Okay. Pretty close to aging up here. We still have sheep left, which is nice. And uh, we need to get stables though. It's kind of bad that we don't have that. Okay, we have enough here now. Let's cut you guys, jump back to this. Got some horsemen. Okay, we discovered a relic. As long as we get like a couple, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Oh wow, that's a lot of sheep up there, holy shit. Oh man, if only I could get, yeah, a stable out. All right, let's pull you guys, do this. We can do a Regnitz back here. I'm tempted to do burger, but you know, it's not it's not the way here. Dude, I am so greed right now. This is just pure greed. Okay, a couple of you guys jump here. Let's get a stable up. Have you guys to speed that out? No, it's an archer range. We need the knights. The the usual build for the fast castle is just like heavy on um, heavy on knights and whatnot. I love Lee. Okay, I got trapped. It's my favorite. Okay, so stable time. We discovered another relic with our, our dread scouting. Uh, we can just repair that, so not a huge deal. And uh, cool, so it's on its way. We're not going to have enough gold to do a whole lot here, though. Yeah, we're gonna probably lose this one. I'm just, it's just it just was not cleanly executed. Let's see if we can get a pick here. Don't think so. All right, back to food we go. Okay, let's do this. See if we can get a cheeky tower to defend that. Ah, we found your scout. But we're about to run out of food is also a problem. Okay, let's do rebuild this. Keep the archer going strong. Okay, so we're about to get to the next age. So at least that's happening. That aspect of the game is going well. Garrison, you guys. Let's get you on berry bushes up here. Okay, archer. The dreaded archer scout is upon us. All right, so we're back on gold. We will have enough to make some knights. And uh, how many fire trucks do we have? We have two, right? So one fire truck here. And let's try and get the other fire truck up here. We're going to have to hope that he blunders on this. And I'm able to get the goods. Because he's honestly um, probably ahead pretty substantially. Maybe he thinks there's some sort of a weird raid going on. I'm not sure. Alright, so let's get you guys on gold here. And we need to get a couple relics. Alright. So horsemen go protect Friar Tuck. Got knights coming out. And if we can manage to get some relics, we're back in this game. It's the nature of the beast. Okay, let's grab this and then come back to the base. Yeah, you can see he's coming right now. So we have our horsemen. We can go defend. And let's get a second stable up. Okay, down the side of the map you go. Let's go up here. Come on, boys. Need to guard this. Here he comes with his spears. And you grab this and come back. And cool. So, yeah, stable time. We gotta watch out for the Wololos. Okay, here he comes. We're gonna have some night action. That's gonna force him back until our knights get here. Okay, keep fighting. Dragging down the spearmen if we can. 
We're obviously going to have to send another prelate up there, so he's going he's gonna to come. But hopefully the knight will get the job done. You guys, um, we could go for a boar camp if we want to. There's a mini deer camp. Let's just get you on berry bushes for now. We don't have enough critical mass of like, good units yet, so let's get a couple uh, knights up. Okay, guys, where are they at? Friar Tuck needs to go down, 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 down. Loop across, and thankfully we do have another one. That's great. All right, we're about to get two knights out, which is going to be nice. And hopefully this Friar Tuck can go for it. See if we can get that horseman. Nice. Okay, the two knights will definitely give us a bit of a push here. Although he's Castle Age too. Shit. Okay, so he's actually not even behind us. Yeah, he's in good shape. I I assumed we were the Castle Age lords. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a marketplace so we can start balancing our economy out. We grab the goodies. We're attacking in the back with our, our knights. Oh my god, the Wololo has like a global cooldown or some shit? Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we got two. Let's uh, go grab this one now, see if we can win this fight. Yeah, the knights are doing good. We got the numbers now. The food, a little bit precarious, like I said, but should be fine. Let's grab you guys. And uh, yeah, I think that relic is probably a lost cause for now. So let's pull back. And uh, we need to get that food economy going. So let's just get Friar Tuck into this to motivate everyone. Let's go raid his base a little bit and uh, see if we can find some relics on the, on the way. Okay. Actually, we probably just need to do Aachen Farms. Go see if you can do a little bit of economic harass. Uh, and you can go check that out. He probably grabbed the relics, I would wager. Yeah, but we have uh, we have enough to do a little Aachen fun. Okay, let's do that. get in there. Just kind of start saucing up our economy a little bit. Let's go see what that looks like. Okay, he's got crossbows here. Let's go down this way. There's a freebie right there. So we'll go take that uh, religious character and uh, start switching up our army comp as well. Give it to us, precious. Oh, we didn't finish him. That that priest is a hardy lad. He's he took that those uh, those those lances like true Chad. So we need to just get like a really good food eco now. What well, and you know keep the harass on if we can. Oh, he's got a good army here though. He's got a real good army. I'm probably just gonna get my base folded like a piece of paper. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so we need to emergency repair this. Let's get back here. Um, emergency repair that. Get spring alds, the emergency springs. And uh, do we want to make land snakes? Probably not. Probably just spears. Okay, so the raiding, I think the raiders died in the back. We might have gotten like a villager kill or something. But really, nothing, uh, nothing worth noting. Let's go press the boar. We're about to get a spring emplacement. We got two relics, he's got three, so he's, he's definitely ahead of us. Uh-huh, and uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so we're getting a decent little force here, but his, his army's in, in good shape. We're about to get a stone tower there. Um, let's just keep the spearmen coming, get some horsemen for artillery diving. I actually don't know if these guys will beat this boar. Yeah, they will, okay, I was like. You know, their spring pick there. The dreaded HRE turtle is upon us. A lot of rust to shake off, guys. Time times are different. And now I'm I'm living true to my name of the Lord of Supply Block. I'm just trying to get in there. Yeah, I, I want to get the uh, the relics into the towers, but I don't have a lot of extra prelates on standby right now. Okay, let's grab you guys. You go back here. I'm gonna get a spring tower here. Probably just a lot of these guys. Okay, so we do have a spring coming up. I don't know if we have emergency repairs. We do. Okay, so let's dive these. Have the spearmen fight. Alright, come on. We need him to take some bad trades into the base. 
Can we finish it? Oh, uh, yeah, we probably just lost. We, we, I mean, we, we didn't get the second one even. He's taking a little bit of Daka, but not too much, man. Not too much. Okay. Come on, Springall Tower. Shoot that thing. Come on. Does this not have a Springall on it? Could have sworn it did. There we go. Okay, now it's shooting the right target. Okay, we got the Springall down. We got some, some Spear Dudes on top of the, the Cav. Let's repair it. See if we can. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, I just, I just, I, I am so, this game was so sloppy all around. Just like shit play the whole time. All right, so let's make some more spears. Let's make some more knights. Even though he's got Janissaries now, so he's like got pretty like solid counters against us. Um, so probably just Arch Ranges is better. Yeah, he's got a Chungus army. Yeah, you can garrison Mangos with, um, if I'm not mistaken, with one of the abilities. All right, I've been playing too much Company Heroes, guys. Got to get the Age of Empires action back. Good food, at least. We got the boar, you know. We got that going for us. But look at that army. He's got nine Janissaries. Just going, just going full, full hard there. Yeah. So we lose a couple buildings, emergency repair those bad boys. No, no, we were just really sloppy this game. We should have either done an eco build or kind of like in between the two, I feel. Yeah, all right. Well, we do have this Aachen little cute Aachen farm action going. We have that spring all tower down there. Okay, let's keep gathering. And uh, knights, knights. Sell some food. Okay, unfortunately archers are kind of playing into his strength here, but we'll get some crossbows too while we're at it. We're going to keep trying to turtle for Sigmar. It's better to go raid him while we turtle, I think. Try some pitiful ass raiding here. I think I like... Okay, there we go. So he's pressing from that direction. Crossbows. We got houses coming up, if I'm not mistaken. We do. Let's go get all of his workers. No, this is probably my last one. My hands are kind of hurting me a little bit. I have, I have hand problems, so I gotta, I gotta take it easy, but... Hmm. Okay. So standing army is here. Get a little spring and just turtle for as long as we possibly can. Just HRE things. Do a little bit of raiding. Hopefully he doesn't notice because he's got such a chub for my base. Okay, that's good. That's how comebacks happen. He's losing a lot. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, but my army's just so pitiful in the main base. Take down the spearman. Well, at least he's taking a little bit of eco damage. Take you down. Hey, it's something. The small victories. I'll take them. Okay, so he's extending in. Let's get in the TC. See what kind of defense we can muster here while we uh, continue getting into the base. All right, so let's go check the back. Looks like we did fend off some of those units. We have the dreaded spring all tower back here. All right. It could be worse. It could be worse. All right, back to the farms you go. I don't remember queuing up textiles, but that's okay. Oh god, that's a big old army. Okay, let's get back here. You guys move up here. Go grab that, because this position is not going to hold for long. Knight's causing a little bit of havoc. We have the dreaded stone tower, but I think we just keep turtling, like I said. What kind of damage are we getting here? Not too much. Okay, he's, he's, he's back there with defenders now. So we probably did some, like, decent eco damage. Not Nothing that can change the game, of course, but, um... Yeah, spears and crossbows? Yeah. So, just spears. It's gonna be the way. So trying to cut off some reinforcements where we can, because he's kind of, like, deep in my base. We have emergency repairs on this bad boy. Is our knight gonna win that? No, oh, not quite. He tried. He was a he was a true trooper. Okay, let's get back. Build another house here. Try and hit this army here while his his cavalry are away. 
I don't think I can even win this. We're gonna try it. All right, so yeah, no, it's just like, his army's just so wrecked. Okay, let's go hug the top of the map. We have to ch channel our inner Smeagol here, guys. Just running to the edges of, of territory and... <laughs> let's make some land snakes, too. You know what, let's uh, just take this like army over here for now. Go harass his base a little bit, see what happens. You guys run up to the top. Hopefully he doesn't discover that. He's sieging. Build some dreaded uh, houses in the corner. Let's run you back. I don't know if these spears will even win this fight. All right, guys, the counter raid is upon us. You guys want a desperate last stands and shit? This is this is this is the right area to be. That's for sure. Up we go. Got you guys in the corner. Jump you out. Get you back on farms. We do get a lot of knights there, actually. You take some pretty considerable losses. All right. A little something to work with, eh? I, you know, I should have expected that there would just be, like, another full army here just, like, lurking in the shadows. Like, on top of this just giant force he has, it's just another fully erect one. All right, so... Yeah, these guys just flee. I mean, we can try and pick off what we can, but... They're definitely going to get butchered. And uh, we got the lumber on the top of the map. Honestly, my early game was just really bad. I don't think there's too much to analyze other than... I just, like, let him deny me gold for a long time when it wasn't... Didn't need to happen. Yeah. What is our eco at? 36 right now? So do that. Do this. We have enough stone now. Just need a little bit more wood. Set up another TC. I'm just kind of chilling. Oh, he's got his, his treacherous scout sheep. Look at this. His sheep were scouting. We need to bonk those sheep on the head. Let's go see if we can get a freebie here. All right, guys. The HRE last stand is upon us. Let's do some FFA tactics. You guys like the FFA tactics? Just building shit in the corner? Okay, do we have any gold? Not really. We got the uh, the old the old TC coming up on the edge of the map. Yeah, no, the, the game's winnable though. I just played badly. I didn't play well. He played better than me. Let's just be real. You must admit, it's it's tricky to stay practice at multiple RTS games and like stay competent. All right, so here he comes. I have a, a legion of dread spears summoning my Masso. Masso, this one's for you, brother. Well, I mean, obviously it's going to be a loss, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. Hmm. Seek, seek shelter. Is that really his full army? It's not as big as I, you would think. Okay, so we need to go dive this if we can. Not going, like, awful, all things considered. The spearmen are trading into the cavalry, okay. So we got this, so let's do that. Start building some action, and yeah, his army is just so erect. Just have like my haggard ass tower just trying to hold here. It's like homeboys keep drop dropping me and shit. Okay, you guys like it? Okay, now I go build a landmark up in the top corner and hope that he's not competent enough to find it, and then I can rebuild and get him later. I'm gonna dread keep drop. What is our eco at? GG, well played. All right, guys. So before the next stream, I'll definitely practice a little bit, try and play better for you. But it's good to be back. It's good to be playing again, win or lose. It was a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next time. I couldn't beat the spy sheep. They were all up in my shit. He knew the sheep were, I don't know how they would communicate with knights across the map, but you know, roost can teleport fish, so we don't ask questions. Yes, I'm gonna quit all of their RTSs to just focus on age vampires. That would have been really funny if I went and built like just like a landmark like the uh, L's back up in the top corner. Yeah, that would have been really funny. All right, guys. See you next time. GG well played to my opponents. They owned me pretty good today, but we'll be back. We'll be back. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's either going to be a Total War tournament or Company of Heroes. I want to do a Blood Bowl stream, but there's so much crashing in that. It's just, uh, it's just janky. All right, guys. See you next time. 
casted event coming up soon. Going to coordinate with Gunhound, the man, the myth, the hound. And he is going to uh, help us out with that. All right. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Adios. Dovi Zenya. That's it for tonight.